All righty. So, a little primer with maybe a little extra because of the um, situation we're coming into tonight. Um, the party finds themselves deep in the catacombs of Castle Ravenloft, the home of Strahd von Sarovich. The party has been trapped in this land of Barovia for some time, knowing that should they perish, their souls would be forever trapped here. Strahd von Sarovich is again the vampire lord of Barovia. A little bit of background. Um, there's a lot that happened to get the party to this particular place, but um, of importance has been some events that transpired in a location known as the Amber Temple. The party learned that this location held an artifact known as the Sun Sword um, that they later learned to be belonging or had to have formerly belonged to Sergei, Strahd's brother. Um, they went to recover this sword, having already recovered a holy symbol called the symbol of Ravenkind that has enormous power to um, defeat vampires. After leaving the Amber, or when they were in the Amber Temple, they discovered entities encased in Amber that offered all of them a gift should they choose to accept it. Those that accepted one were given powers, physical changes, different abilities. Um, and at the same time, each of them felt some kind of darkness tugging at their soul some from something deep, old, and very sinister. And for the most part, as they went, they were able to shrug off this and accept these gifts as they were. Now it came as they were um, to be that as they were exploring further in the Amber Temple, things got a little, they turned south for the party. A combat went very badly and their cleric Maris died. In order to save her, the character Jeswaldo rushed and accepted another dark gift, the gift of Zudun the Corpse Star. Doing so caused his body to be transformed to look almost like an undead or easily mistaken for an undead, a ghoulish appearance. Though there was a far more important effect that happened within Jeswaldo. It seemed the energy of this place corrupted his very essence and turned him on a path towards evil. It was slow, but steady. When the party got to Castle Ravenloft, um, Jeswaldo thought to make a deal with Strahd. He thought his power needed to be enhanced. But as he went, Strahd took immediate advantage of him, charming him to ensure that he got the better part of this deal and commanded Jeswaldo to take the holy symbol of Ravenkind from their cleric. Jeswaldo did so and was given, well, some means to help accomplish this goal. Fast forward a little bit more the party is down in the catacombs, having helped one of their friends resurrect his sister. And now Jeswaldo has, well, found a sword. He sits in a, to a tomb attuning to what is a powerful magical artifact. And another artifact which the um, party owns, a short sword, is constantly warning it that the hope, whatever hope Jeswaldo has lies in his hands. And as soon as he gets the power of this blade, all hope could be over for him. So it thinks. Confronting, the par or confronting him, the party stepped forward after finding him hiding in the tomb with the help of the Archmage, trapped him in the tomb began to confront him about this sword 
ask what he is doing, and just Waldo seemed fit to ignore them, curious what this new power would give him. When they pressed further, he called for his new, well, or his supposed ally. As Strahd von Zarovich had charmed him, so when Jeswaldo called for assistance in completing his task of taking the holy symbol, so Strahd came. He offered a deal briefly. He said to Claire that he would release Jeswaldo if she would only toss him the blade, leave it behind. In exchange, he would let them take the symbol and do what they want with Jeswaldo. Now, there is a force barrier up, sealing Jeswaldo within the tomb. Strahd has come walking slowly towards the group, offering one ultimatum, but truly looking curious to see what their next steps will be with this trapped party member of theirs. So I open it to the players now, again. As he slowly walks towards the back of the tomb. Just one of stands and uh, sort of parade the rest with the, the blade behind his back. Do you remember that house that we all visited back in Barovia? Not all of us, I suppose. But Claire, do you remember that? I do. Do you remember running from the wolves? Do you remember confronting a vampire in the basement of a church? You remember having our fortunes read by a mysterious woman. I remember all of it. You've been through a lot. I find it hard to believe that you would turn on me this way. Just because a half-elf that we barely know wearing a stupid goatskin told you that a sword said to you all seem to think there's something wrong with me well I mean perhaps there is and I'll tell you what it is a few days ago I made a horrible difficult choice that had unknown and potentially far-reaching repercussions for what I thought was a good result. And I paid the price, and as I say that, I dropped the mask on my face. So be it, but at that moment there was a voice that started speaking in my head. It said, none of them would have done that for you. And I ignored it as I grew louder and louder. And Claire, a moment ago you proved it right. I once saw you give away a journal in Strahd's own hand for a book we didn't need and an idiot. I thought I meant more to you. I told you before all of this started, all of whatever this has become, that 
I would do the same for you, what you did for Maris. I told you that if I, if you died, I would march myself back up that fucking mountain to bring back my friend. Yes, you did. You know better than most people here right now Probably the only one who knows better is Maris, that I am not a perfect person. I make mistakes. I am angry. I am frustrated, and I don't know how to handle all of that all the time. And as difficult as it is to begin with, you are making it much harder. Because of this, I pull out the sword again. No. I don't understand. Why is it so important that I not have this? Why would you make plans to take away my free will because you don't want me to have it? I don't understand. I have not done anything to hurt any of you. None of you. What about Akanta? I am not responsible for her. You left her curiosity burgeoning on stupidity. I'm not responsible for her not checking for a trap. I admit, I had my suspicions. I held my tongue because it was a calculated risk. I risked that whatever would happen to her, we could undo, which we have in exchange for greater power. We've done more for less. There she stands, unharmed, and for a brief moment, we had what I assume is something of incredible power. I made the right choice. And... It was not my fault that she paid the price. A great price with potentially far-reaching consequences in exchange for a great reward. That seems to be a theme, doesn't it? Well, since you are so familiar with exchanges, taking calculated risks for things of great power. Then I think that that you will understand the gravity of what I will do. Zwaddle raises an eyebrow. Oh. I... Where's Strahd? He is... <clears throat> is he visible it's... to me? Yes, yep. he is. He is, uh, he is sitting there. He is leaning against... The tomb there, eyeing all of you curiously. Since one of you not trusted me, just well know. Surely, me identifying that before you have it, I have no need for swords or a rapier. It would belong to you. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to have a few secrets of my own. And there isn't. You know everything that every one of us has. What if it's cursed? It's not. What if it is? What if that staff you're holding is cursed? I've identified it. It's not. So you say? 
So you say about all the things that you've identified. I want this one for myself. You I have, have keenly been feeling the lack of magical ability. I feel like I am, well, I felt like I was a detriment to the party. Every single one of you can do such amazing things. I cannot. It didn't that matter so much so before, but now it does. I want more. I feel like Do I you not realize more. the extent to which you outclass so many of us? Please. You're not powerless. You can do you can accomplish leagues beyond so many people with not a drop of magic. A Limus could put me to sleep with a word. Kanta could turn into a snake and bite my head off. You, you could strike me with your sun blade and pour power into it and turn me into dust. And you could cut any one of us, Jezbald, I... No. No, I couldn't. Maybe I could get away. But that's all. That, <laughs> Claire, that you yourself are standing by to, to take away my free will. I cannot stop you. But maybe if I had power of my own, I could. Maybe that's what this sword means. Maybe I like the idea of you not knowing what it does and what capabilities I have. Why would you not trust us now? Because we've clearly already demonstrated to him and he's already decided that we are not to be trusted. Well, you when he has spent the last, you have spent the last, however many days it's been in, for, since the Amber Temple, because I literally do not remember, digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole and not letting us reach you. And I am reticent to admit that I have at least not made that easier for you. And I am sorry. Not to leave your and side. If I have to be within 10 feet of you at all times. Because I was worried. You left the room and then got blown up by Strahd. Why would I not be worried about that? Ten feet away from me because I didn't want you to die. Is that so fucking wrong? After which... It didn't, um, uh, didn't I'm do anything away. to help that hole, did it? I'm walking away as he says that. Whoa, um, was. Do you still want this piece of crap? If it means so much to you. You are giving it to me freely? Or in exchange for what? I apologize for turning my nose up at a deal so generously given. Hmm. Fine. And he lives, he reaches out his hand. I don't know. Um, is the force field down that's around as well, though? Yeah, I... Still up, I believe. Still up. I want to take a step towards Jeswaldo. I asked the elf to drop it. She looks and she doesn't know who to trust. She says, why? Because I said Maris... so. Drop it. Maris looks at her and with just the most pleading in her voice and her eyes. Please. Please. Just drop it. It's pathetic. Brother, I think we need to start thinking about leaving. But not before you drop it. <clears throat> drop it. The 
force field drops. And she backs up slowly, asking her brother to come near. I back up to the back of the tool. You can keep the weapon, Jeswaldo. You may not trust me for that. But at least while you were tuned to it, let me give you some protection. Uh, I walked up towards him. And if he doesn't stop me, I place my hand on his shoulder. Uh, I'm not going to let you touch me. Why? You trust I me, no? I don't trust you. No, of Why course not? not. I've just heard you making plans for my demise. Stay right where you are. <laughs> Maris starts to walk forward. I'm just, warning you, Maris. Just, please. I know you, you're in... You really think that I wouldn't do the same for you? That I would have let you die in the Amber Temple? Or anywhere else? Even the way you are now? No. Never. Just Walt. I love you. Please. I love you the way you are. No, I do. Stop. No. Please, Maris, you're embarrassing yourself. Just Walt, oh, please. Look at me. And... Well... You can't expect me to believe that. Do you remember in the house when I I followed you around from room to room? That house in Barovia? It wasn't just because I wanted to learn to be stealthy. It's because I just loved being around you. And for the first time in my life, I felt safe and I felt seen and I felt heard. And even as things changed here, as you changed, I always saw who you've always been. You've never stopped being the Jeswaldo you were to me. And I know... I know I wouldn't be here without you, and I'm not going... I'm not leaving here without you. And if that means we both go, that means we both go. She doesn't I, know how to tell a lie, Jeswaldo. Their faith is sorely misplaced. As so is your distrust. We will see, won't we? Somebody has to back down here. You all have to trust me. And we'll me trust alone. you if you trust us. You know my spells, the words. You may not understand them, but you know one of harm and one us not. I offer you a protection against the sword if it is cursed. That is all. No. If it is cursed, then it is something that I deserve. No. How is You've that dealt possible? with enough, Jeswaldo. Why is that true? Well, I'm about to show you, of course. Um, I put the sword in Strahd's hand. <sighs> I believe you did that. He looks at it, regards it, it is simply a hilt and he smiles, but the smile very, very quickly fades. Maybe for the first time you see flashing across his face, true sadness, a flicker, if not for a second, a tide of grief. Then he straightens his shoulders, tucks it into his belt.
So I believe our business is concluded. Amulet, where is it? I'm still under his control, right? Okay. You are. <clears throat> well, so that's what I was going to tell you about misplaced faith. Claire, as I yell out, because I assume I can hear all this. And I pull out from behind my back a uh, little wooden box. And as I do, uh, Maris, you see a little tear in Jeswaldo's eye, which he winks away. Thank you, my lord, for this box. It was very useful in hiding the symbol of Ravenkind from my friends. There was talk of uh, reward payment, but really, you deserve this. I can't think of anyone else I would rather give it to. Let him go. This isn't you. What have you done to him? He walks through the wall, stopping next to just Waldo and looking at him and then holding out his hand for the box. I place my hand on just Waldo. I put the box in Strahd's hand. <clears throat> you can tell there's some heft to this. As he looks around and says, well, a deal was a deal. Well, I'm he opens not going it. To refuse. He, he opens, and you can see that this is a very well constructed wooden box, but it is metal lined. Something like he might have crafted specifically for this purpose. And as he opens the small box, turning his. Um, nose up away in disgust as if not wanting to look what's inside hmm. a wry smile comes and by the way are you guys in the tomb yeah or, um, or with is. him so or Limus is in the tomb and, and so I think Maris there. is now yeah. Yeah. Okay. you should move yourselves on the thermo okay. jigger very crowded yeah I think we're all next to each other. Yeah, they're close. Yeah. I am not in the tomb. Mm. <laughs> Just to be clear. Mm -hmm. To be clear, Athelflaed is not in the tomb party. I think I'm behind Cypher. Absolutely. Yeah. The three of you can see then the box is empty. And he lets it shut. Tell me where it is, Jeswaldo. Oh, is it not in the box? Uh, I apologize. Um, Look at me and tell me where it is. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, how silly of me. Well, it occurred to me that your instructions to keep it safe. Uh, when we went to Valaki, um, that was... Even with the box, my, f my friends could possibly have found it, so I, uh, I thought that if we left it there, then um, yeah, it would be very safe from them, my lord. And uh, I must have just, uh, I don't know, forgotten that it wasn't in the box. So there you have it. And he takes a slow step back, passing through the wall of the tomb leaving you all alone. I really thought that would work. At any rate. Jeswaldo. Uh, yes, my lord. I am done with you. And he releases his charm. You see, and then he um, 
looks up and says in an imperious tone. Well, not exactly an honest exchange, but you have your friend to blame for that. Good luck finding it. We'll see who gets there first. Now, I have released him, and I'll provide you with this little bit of information. I do believe Jaswaldo here has been broken beyond your fixing. He knows this as well. That blade true. he's holding can fix him, but he's not willing to fix himself, I don't think. You're a liar. If you want to fix him, you have to take it from his hands. You know he will not let you do that. So, do the hard thing for his sake. Fix me. Fine by me. Is Strahd still in the room? He is not. He has no, stepped out in, in a way, and he is no. walking. Okay, well, out, out in, I'm in the... Yes, he is. Crypt. Cyborg moves to hit Wal Jaswaldo. I grab no. Cyborg before he does. No! I, Where? I, Cyborg, Cyborg. Maris Do you puts trust herself me? in front of Jaswaldo. I say to Jaswaldo, now do you see why I needed to touch your arm to offer you protection? You were charmed. I trust you. I... Do you trust us now, Jeswaldo? I'm a bit confused. I, I'm still not clear why you won't let me keep this. You can have the sword. I need to identify it in case it's cursed. You've heard what Strahd said, did you not? Yes, he may be lying. He may not be. We want to help you. We truly do. But as he said, are you willing to help yourself, Jaswaldo? I don't think I need helping. Unless you have the ability to grant me some magic power. Sounds like this sword does. As I said, you can have the sword. But first, before you attune, you must trust us. Meris offered you something the other day. He refused. An atonement. What it do may I not have do to anything. Atone for? It may not do anything. Lying may... and stealing comes to mind. We I want you. We want you. Not my fault. Oh, he's only. How long has he had the charm on you, Jaswaldo? You uh... want yourself back, do you not? You want to be back to how you was in the house. When we, when we no, turned no, no. up here. That is not my fault. That is not your fault. But you're not willing to let us help you. You all are the ones who have made this. Just leave me alone. Why? I told you, I'm not leaving. You have friends here, just while I. Surely, under all that self-pity, you must realize that. You're almost out of time. You will have it in a moment. We ask you to trust us one last time. Maris tries to reach. She's right in front of Jeswaldo, and she tries to reach out and touch his face to wipe away where she saw the tear fall. Please. Please, just let me try. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I know that that you are who you are now. No judgment. You just are who you are now. But please, just let me try. I hold my just hand out for the sword.
about at this time, just while though you feel the completion of the attunement. You know that you have in your hand what is called a luck blade. You hear slight whispers coming up from it. As if it used to have a personality at one time, but it is very, very faint now. And you know, as well as the bonus to attack it gets, it will also boost your saving throws, your armor class, and it has a single casting of the spell Wish. Eighth level spells, right? Or below. Yeah. Eighth level um, spells are below. Or. Or an effect. Or an effect. Um, check one thing. You all give me a minute. Sure. Um, if Strahd is still standing there, which I believe he is, I will. Position. Went through the wall and he's oh, no, he's still over here, at least on the map. He backed out of a small crypt, but I believe he's still yeah. in the larger room. As you look, he has rounded a corner and oh, and apparently Goodbye, Liz. Oh. <laughs> no. and has it seems like he has disappeared from sight. Um I no check, longer have him in view. I check where he was. You do not see him. Uh, I understand now why you did not want me to have this. And why is that? It is very powerful. Boy, we I couldn't possibly know what it does. Do you I ever see me this, carry a blade? I could use this to make you all helpless. So it doesn't have to be, it could be any school? There's no limit. You can copy any spell of 8th level or lower, or you can, there are, have you pulled up the spell? Yeah. Multiple things it can grant, or also, if you were to, of course, um, say something else. So I could cast, I could cast anti-magic field. If you want, to, if it's the correct type of spell, then yes. Take a little flower off. I, I forgive you for it. We're we're still friends, okay? And she'll hold it out. It it was an accident. You're very foolish. No. I would like you to go. No. Please. No. You can't make hand. me go when I'm not going, Claire. I, I put my hand on her shoulder just to let her know that I'm there. Just a little squeeze. 
I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving without you with me. And if that means I never leave, I never leave. I've already got a crypt down here anyway. I wish I was the man you think I am, Maris. You are. Ooh. You saved me. Uh uh, and that's the wish I missed. Ah, uh, uh, shut ah, uh, ah. Uh. I see what you uh, did there. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> so. In the beautiful heart of Maris Paradell. Who is just Waldo? Jeswaldo is kind and courageous and smart and strong. She, he's, he's funny. He's dashing. <laughs> she liked his Ponzi hat. And she, he's her her best friend on this it, she's found her best friend oh my someone called Disney <laughs> <laughs> but damn he ugly no, not hardly. <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> Maris loves him for his soul oh my god <laughs> so I, I can't help making jokes at sad moments it makes me you trouble. guys see a Glow <laughs> emanate from the blade. A pale green glow that begins to cover just Waldo's entire body. As whatever had warped him from who Maris knew, whatever had, whatever Zudun. Corrupted and decayed within the Jeswaldo that she loved. The decay is reversed, and you feel it ever so slowly inside Jeswaldo. And you feel both restored, but also the immense weight of what you have done and what you know you have done is suddenly realized. In front of you stands your party, looking expectantly. And most of all, in front of that stands Maris with her hand on you, whom you probably have betrayed most deeply. And taking her most powerful and valuable tool to survive this realm. And you know now that it was wrong. And you feel it. Swaldo takes a deep, shuddering breath and then closes his eyes as tears begin to fall. And he says, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he falls to his knees, holding Maris's hand. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maris gets down on her knees with Jeswaldo and takes his face in her hands and is wiping away her tears. It wasn't you. And she kisses both of his cheeks where tears have fallen. I'm just glad you're back. I don't want to die! Me too. Look up at everybody. I'm, I don't know what to say. I... I was an idiot. I apologize. Please. Forgive me. 
I will make it up to you, I swear. Akantha, I'm so sorry. Oh. It was I, an accident, too, man. It's okay. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's fine. I'll offer my hand to help him up. I'll take his hand. Claire, what you did. Oh, no! Oh, no! I can't believe you did that. I didn't mean to trivialize it. It was very... Very brave of you. I'll never forget it. But we should move quickly. We we might still be able to get the, the symbol. I, I I don't want to say quite where I stashed it at the moment, but we could get it. And then we were to receive the sword. That's probably long gone now. Who knows? I, but, I hope it was worth it. He says with a little half smile. Um, Maris, just one second, and I hug him. You're a fucking asshole. You know that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's one of my primary features, I... Um... Oh no! Oh no! Unless necessary. For all our sakes. Ten feet. Please. Absolutely, yes. Oh, Cyvor. Um... I, I apologize. You, you had every right to strike me. Um, and I, I stand in awe of your intelligence and abilities. You are far more a man than I. In most ways. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I don't know if Ryan's really angry or he's frozen. Um, oh, he's really go. Cyvor. Yeah, Claire. Will you help me with something? Absolutely. What do you need? I need a goddamn dragon skull. Should, uh, we should get on that. Uh, I do not yeah. trust. Is that is the um, elf? Are the two elves still with us? They are. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking Katrina. of, she she looks at you and says, <clears throat> "Well, interesting. I would like to get out of here very quickly. We are on the way, but you owe me assistance." Do I? Yes, you do. I described to you specifically what I needed, and you acquiesced. So, Cyborg, Same. Petrina, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Maris, uh, I'm sorry. I, I took these from you, and I hand her back the diamonds. <laughs> she stashes them away. I can get you, your party, and the skull out of here. Right. Okay. But in doing so, I would like to keep this staff. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. I Those are my, vet. Those I are my terms. I don't think you're in a position to negotiate right now. I don't think we need your help to get the skull out of here, frankly. You don't. No, I... brother. And he, she I... reaches out her hand to Casimir. Please, uh, no, please. Because, uh, you are Just, not allowed I, to leave without that staff. I can't pay very dearly for it. Jeswaldo. Exchanges. Uh, 
Akanta, how do you feel about her taking this staff? I don't, I don't particularly like that staff, so, so they can have it. And I'll, I'll go up to Jeswaldo and hold his hand. It's fine. Hmm. She smiles broadly, but not warmly. Should we leave this place? Or, or should we... At once. Let's now, go. where is it? We need to go now. I will not stay I... in here a moment longer. Um, will lead us back in the direction of the skull. Well, while we're going that way, I just want to say thank you to Ugluck for the thousand bits. Wow. So that'll be a healing potion that Peter will awesome. have to roll up. Thank you. Also... A massive you thank you to it. Pixie and Manx for offering us all D6s. But what? Pixie has given us all a D6, but then Manx come oh in God. as well. But I just, I wanted to say and mention to Peter that maybe that Manx's will turn into an inspiration for, I was going to say Meris, but then obviously Elena come in and then God knows what else, but I don't know. Um, so what do we what do we have? It looks like there's a bunch of um, d6s. Seven d6s. Uh, Whoa. Um, Holy hell! That's all of wow. us. We all just get one. Yeah. I think it's uh, seven. Yeah. So oh, it is seven. Except for the DM. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, not that guy. <laughs> remember, guys, they have uh, to be used tonight. Also, and so uh, Elena and Liz go ahead and each roll a d20. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, wow. I think it's totally fine for her to take that. Well, yeah. both, Maris, I you think. also have regular inspiration. Oh, I want to say both. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And who gets that healing potion? Um. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys because it's not a combat situation. So, whoever it makes sense to take it. Uh. Seriously, guys, there's we we could totally get the skull out of here. Between all of us dragging it, we have the ability to get it out. We do not need her help. We could, if she's going to take the staff as payment for our help, we don't need her help. We could take the staff back. It's I gonna absolutely be agree. All three feet of me. I absolutely agree. She should not be having that stuff. Oh, damn, bitch. However, it's up to you guys. Jiswaldo's not going to say that out loud. He's going to do what the group wants. But I just um, wanted to that throw skull, that out there. We can get it through the doors and stuff like that, I'm assuming. It's they, massive. If they, if they I got thought it, it in, couldn't get through the doors. Yeah, how, I thought that's my understanding was that it was. Well, wasn't it built around it? Peter, could you clarify the spatial requirements for moving the skull? Yeah, that, that might change my opinion, actually. It is... Um, it would be classified as large. Like, it's an adult dragon skull, yes? It's an ancient, ancient. dragon skull. Oh, okay. But also adult, an adult ancient dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. An ancient oh. baby dragon. Oh, no! <laughs> like a Benjamin Button? No, like the oh. child. <laughs> Something oh! with a 19 plus 4 in strength could carry that, right? It's it's a space issue, yeah, not yeah. a carrying and, but issue. But more than one person can carry it, right? And I mean, I'm thinking that we yeah. take it and we take it to the fire and we go back to the lock. It is on a different floor yeah, and I, than we are hallway, on right now. The hallways we were coming down would not accommodate a, a large item. Would it not? Peter? Can you I mean, that's, a, that's, that's what I'm question. double. That's what I'm yeah. double checking. Okay. I mean, if it literally cannot be moved to where we needed to move it, then that's a different story. I mean, looking, looking at the hallway, that it's only it's two squares across, which is only ten feet. Well, that is large size. That is large mm -hmm. size. So, large size. Large size. Large size. Um, in character, in character, my other concern would be: Are we going to get harried trying to get it out? That's my biggest thing. That's my biggest concern is even if we can physically get it out, what's the price? Right. If I stick one of its teeth in my pocket, 
and then wild shape. Would it wild shape with me? Because it technically <laughs> the is The tooth on me. would. <laughs> Just but that like one if, tiny piece. What if I crawl into the skull and then wild shape? That would technically take it with me, right? Uh, <laughs> technically. Oh very, my god. Very clever. But... <laughs> <laughs> I like watching Ryan like puzzle this all out. Technically, <laughs> we're Don't in think the about castle. it. Don't think about it. It would technically be in my pocket. So here's my question: Does did the Luck Sword have only one wish? Yeah. He said one, one, right? Just yeah. one. Okay. Just okay. One Everybody wish. gets one. Everybody I could have. Oh, I could have used it on the skull. You made That's the right I, decision. I could have used you it on so many things. <laughs> could have used it on a lot of things. I could have wished for all no, the, the whole Triforce back. So yeah. good. Oh yeah, no, that was yeah, yeah. Was no. like, you, you did. Could have wished for more wishes. You did good. Or wished for more. Luck. Could have wished for Strahd to be dead. Ah. Uh, <laughs> End yeah. of campaign. Yeah. No. That definitely would have worked. That it, it wouldn't have worked. If that would have led to some weird shenanigans. Oh, man. I could have wished for us all to leave Barovia. No, that won't work. <laughs> won't work. You can't wish yourself out of Barovia. I've already read. Oh, oh okay. you literally can't. Yeah. I did the research. Well, I'm glad I didn't say that. I almost did. Yeah. Okay, I have another idea. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't promise it's my last one because this is this is genius. Now, but if I turned into a giant constrictor and then swallowed it, you and then wild lot. shaped into something smaller, right? It's it's her idea. <clears throat> totally my idea. Don't yeah. look at chat. Now, technically, <laughs> that would be on your person. Like that's that's legit. That's legit. That is legit. Yeah. Can you swallow it with that? Oh no. Yeah, the constrictor's jaws unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, oh my back god. away. <laughs> back away. You are, you are right to ask the question. All right. However, so that's the question then for the DM. Do Can <laughs> do we have do we have physically have the ability to remove the skull and get it out of the castle without the mage's help? Well, so the other thing is is that we are in sort of a giant tomb room. Tomb? Yeah. Tomb, tomb room. room tomb? Uh and there's there might be more shenanigans to be found in the tombs themselves, which may or may not assist us or possibly kill us. No, I think we're on borrowed time here. Uh, yeah. We, we, we either take her help, done deal, live to fight another day, or we try risk. to risk okay. holding on to the staff and getting the skull out. Those then are the two the choices. Fact, then given the fact that we are on borrowed time because one, we have to get out, and then two, we also have to get back to the symbol of Ravenloft before Strahd, Strahd gets, gets to it. Yeah. I, I find that high, that yeah. I, oh, yes. Take us back, we pop us right back to Valakia, and then we have the skull, and hopefully we're a little closer to home. If I'm holding yeah. the skull, Peter, <laughs> and I calculate where I'm going, <laughs> can I misty step with it? It's only thirty. Are feet. you are you yeah. able to carry it? Um, it is many pounds. And then put like <laughs> Limus underneath it, and it's just like, okay, everyone, let go, Missy, step. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you weigh, Elimus? How much do I weigh? Yeah, that's a personal question. He's a yeah. Twiggy right. boy. It's like the Cha Cha slide, but Misty. Yeah, step. I'm carrying are... sixteen pounds. He's you probably right. like a hundred pounds wet. Like it's, you can't ask a magic it's for that. It's probably there's... between two hundred and fifty and three hundred pounds is the Oh, okay. All right. I mean we so already it's a, lost uh, everything. Guys... We no, might it's... as well lose the staff too. It's an you... option that Which you guys you but you know, you guys you know, I will say this. It is it basically takes up a large space, but um Large space, will, that means we can move it through doors, yeah? Yeah. It, it would, yes. Yeah, uh, it takes some maneuvering, but you guys could get it through doors. Hold on a minute. Can I an animate objects? I can animate the object, can't I? Would that work on it? No. I does anybody have, um, what is, what is does the anybody have large objects? or reduce? No, I don't have large Imagine or reduce. Imagine this giant dragon skull, like a chomp chomp, just like... <laughs> yep. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess that's what it comes down to. Do we think it's worth the risk to potentially have? Uh, what did we? We don't actually know. We we know out of game what the staff is. We don't know in game what it is, right? 
Yeah, we don't oh, know in game what it is. I don't even right. know how to. Go. It reverts to his original me form. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> you and me both, Ryan. You and me both. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't meta mother. So I could animate. <laughs> right? I could animate that. So I could animate that, and then once my spell ends, it re returns to its original form. Well, deliberations are over, right? Let's make a choice. In I vote based on in-game knowledge. I would take her deal. Yeah, yeah. game knowledge. Same game as knowledge. Well. Deal. Yep. Sucks, but yeah. Merp. No deal. Maybe, Maybe it'll blow her up. <laughs> it needs to blow right. me up. Um. Very well. <laughs> what? So where are we going with this? Crazy. I don't know. Well, if we tell you right, somewhere, just, Waldo, where, you change the you... deal again, or can you describe? Can you describe to her a location that would be convenient to both where we need to get to go for what you stashed away and to get to Arjun Busthold? Gazunta. You're welcome. <laughs> um. God, I can never remember his name. So many NPCs running through my head. What is the name of the Grey Elven? Casimir. Um, Casimir. Mm -hmm. Casimir's tent. House. Casimir's house, sorry. There were tents there, right? I, Those were the um, the uh, uh, Vistani hunts. Uh, you know, one of the things I wanted was to become a leader of the Vistani. I'm not surprised. An idiot. I'm so sorry. Let's talk about your sorries later. So, yeah, and let's, let's stay alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Maris hands back Joe's Waldo's pipe. Mm -hmm. You dropped this. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She gets really red and then gives him a kiss on the cheek and then she walks forward really fast <laughs> to catch up with Claire. <laughs> We're going to need to have a talk about that, just so you know. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Would she uh, yeah. be willing to swap the staff for another <laughs> staff? Ooh. Uh, if you propose that, she will answer that um, we can do business once we're outside of the castle. Not off the table. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Plus, yeah. technically, we did like break her out of Banshee form and brought her back from yeah. the Where's the Excuse payment for me? That? Was that not payment enough? Exactly. That's her, what I said. Her, she changed the deal. It seems everyone on Barovia is changing the bloody deal. And that just makes me want to It makes <laughs> me want to turn into a murder Pray homeland. I do not alter it further. Um, Ooh. Yeah, let's let's uh, do a skedaddle. All right. Skedaddle. Nice Vader pull. <laughs> Interestingly right. enough, you are not harried uh, which path are you taking, by the way? Of course, the straight. Um, I, well, I suppose we should backtrack. Oh, wait, wait, wait everyone. I, uh, I reset this trap. I, uh, right, um, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, disable the trap again. Thanks. Good. Uh, but by the way, <laughs> there's an extra D6 lying around somewhere. Do you need me to roll for that, Peter? Um, nope, you've done it before. Okay. Um, you know you have the know-how. Would the D6 then just go to DM? Well, he's already got one. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Pixie paid one. P Pixie paid for one each, I and then Manx come in. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to be fair. I just wanted to be fair, guys. Why don't we turn Manx's one into a, a proper inspiration, which Maris got? There we go. Is that uh, what we did? Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. That is what okay. we did. Thanks, gotcha. man. And uh, you guys can make your way all the way back yeah. up to the Hall of Bones. I look wistfully towards Sergei's tomb. Hall of Bones. There's got to be something cool in there. <laughs> we could always it come back. It shines bright. Yeah. And right. hey, you can make your way to the Hall of Bones, where up on the Above these double doors hangs the skull of Arjunvast. Um, just Waldo? You wouldn't happen to know from your, um, brief dealings with Strahd, um, where the rest of our companions are? Imagine it. I was thinking to make 
some sort of deal arrangement with that, but I was trying to get him to give me powers, but I'm glad he, turned me, he turned me before we could get to that, and, uh, and I was, you know, whatever okay. he wanted. Yeah, just worried. Anyway, let's do this. I was really hoping he wouldn't look at the box. I appreciate that you tried. And, all right, you will see Petrina, uh, yes, with a bit of her brother's help, he will set a chair for her, one of these bone chairs, and then get up, stand upon her. She looks very weak. Um, moving around for her is hard. She's breathing heavy. She is poised, but you can tell that she is struggling. Mm-hmm. And she will kind of raise a shaky hand up and then kind of look back to you all and put her hand out. And cast um, a spell at it and it will <laughs> wink out of existence. What did she cast? Make an Arcana check. 18. 18. That's what you needed. It looks like... I'm trying to think, what is the... Is it, what, I can't remember what the DC is for identifying spells. If it's 10 or 15 plus the spells oh, level. Yeah. But, I think um, it's 10. 10? Uh, Google... I know, I just, that was something I had in my head that I thought maybe I had been doing ghoul. wrong for some time. Um, the ghoul girl. The ghoul girl. <laughs> the ghoul girl. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't die, everybody. It's I mean, we're all going to die. Thank God you, God you didn't die. Do not, is, yeah. uh, you you didn't do die. not know <laughs> 15 plus this what the spell is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I had 15, 15. in my head. I want to try. So that's not gonna could go I well. use my D6? <laughs> nope. What would I need for my D6? It's magic! Uh, it's a 15. Oh, I need a 5, wouldn't I? I don't, I don't know. You've We're got talking. the same oh. chance of rolling a five as I you do of rolling a one. What the actual okay. spell level is? I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll use it anyway. Four. Okay. So twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um. So twenty-two. Level. Yeah, it's teleport. D six did it. So it will disappear. You did disintegrate it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> don't do that to me. No. Oops. <clears throat> Are you all ready? Indeed. Yes. Good. She reaches out to each of you and then to her brother. It's like, Everyone hold hands. Giswaldo holds Maris's hand. Yes, Maris holds Giswaldo's hand. <laughs> I hold Maris's other hand. Yay! Maris is so thrilled! I hold Maris's foot. <laughs> my hand <laughs> oh. like I'm gonna hold Akantha's hand she speaks she begins to speak and in the briefest of moments you hear a voice <laughs> uh, it says, not at all what I was expecting your companions will pay dearly for this and then Oh the castle disappears. No 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 And the sensation rocks you as suddenly you are outside standing outside a hovel with rain coming down all around you. Faint firelight glowing from little windows emanating from the hilltop in small huts. Who is there? Confused. Are we all together? What just happened? You all are. Okay. 
He... Oh, no, no, no. And no, lying no, no. at your feet is a giant dragon skull in the middle of your circle. <sighs> he... As she just kind of to their looks up into the rain, you can see Petrina kind of just looking at her hands. Rain. Rain. Hmm. All right, quickly. Should we split up? No. 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 All right, Me then no. quickly. You, you lead. Go. Let's, Let's go. all pick this thing up. Wait, no. Cas uh, yeah. Ca Casimir, can we leave this with you briefly? I'm confused. For what you've done for her, you may. Yeah. I think we may be leaving this place now. He knows where to find us. Completely understandable. I will gather some things. Maris would like to walk towards... Um, oh my god, I'm blanking on her name. Katrina? Katrina? Yeah. I was Katrina. gonna call her Katrina. I was like, no, no, no. She, or Irina? No, no, no. <laughs> she walks toward Katrina. Pamina. Pamina, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, we're ready, Elena, whatever you are. Um, nope. But, <laughs> nope. But she walks towards Katrina and she says... I, better than anyone in this party, understand what you went through for so long. And I wish you all the happiness. And she kind of like bows her head and walks back to the party. Linus, if they really are leaving, this might be your only opportunity to make the trade. They can't leave this place in, in totally. But yeah, I... So first things first, I'm confused why everyone's worried that we've left someone because behind. we have two NPCs who are stuck in the castle somewhere. Three, oh. if you count, um, if you count uh, Esmeralda and aren't in the castle, though, aren't they? But well, Esmeralda and Victor are on the ground somewhere because we split off. They from never them come when over the first. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Victor! <laughs> they came oh, over under the walls. Yeah, they were on yeah. the walls. I don't remember. Yeah, about Victor. they're. They're either dead or tortured or punished in some way oh, we're because back, of what we? we just did. Yeah. Um, I'd just say that, look, look, we are going up against Strahd. That staff is powerful and it could aid us. If you want to be rid of him, we're your best shot. Offer a trade. So, what exactly do you intend to do? What is your plan to defeat Strahd? Hmm? I'm going to start by putting hope back into this land. How's that going so far? Wonderfully. Frankly. Really? Yeah. Enough of the sarcasm. That's my job. Not being sarcastic. Not you. Her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll shut up. <laughs> Maris pats him on the back. We went for a long, long, don't you have long, long else path to free you and to help your brother free you. So a little bit more respect. He's done a fine thing. I appreciate your help, of course. But hmm. I am concerned with my own survival. First and foremost, I have no intention of returning to that dungeon. And I will do what it takes not to get there, to go there, ever again. So you should. So a trade. I need that staff. I'm going up against Strahd with my friends here. We need that. 
And what are you offering for it? What do I have? You have another staff, I dude. Have, I, I have two staffs. And a song. <laughs> yeah, I've got. Uh, there it I'll, is. There it is. Oh, I want to so keep. We drop the course. I kind of want to keep the ring, though. The ring's quite useful in emergency situations. Do we have anything else that we're not using magical item wise? Obviously, I've got two I mean, stars. Nothing that she... I don't have anything that she would want. I kind of yes. want to keep the Frost Staff, but I've got the Gothia Staff, which is a rarity. I have a feeling it's going to take both the staffs in order to get whatever this is. She is sitting there, attentively, waiting for your offer. I stand there with two staffs. This is why I own. Are you going to keep both of those, like, on you at all times? I've been, carrying, I've been carrying both, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they're, like, over your back, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Just, okay, I was just That imagining. double fisting. <laughs> it's like cross-country. Like a, like a hiker. <laughs> yeah. Um, can't, uh, can't, uh, can't, can't like, Akantha not... use the Gilthaya staff? Is I wouldn't give it to uh, Akantha. It's pure evil. Oh. Yeah, it's, okay, it's a bad time. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah, we're keeping her pure. <laughs> Everyone, please stop trying to kill a con. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, only one person can almost die in this party, and it's me. <laughs> we can't all die. That's not fair. We can't all die. Uh, Alimus. Smears. And it's making your offer. Yeah. Job. Wait, no, it's Cyborg. Wait, oh, no. Wait for her to reply. Wait. <laughs> we have this gold. Diamonds? Oh, no. Yeah. We Staffs. Need we need the diamonds. <laughs> I have a random pink sword thing. It's mundane as fuck. <laughs> but it's pink. Oh, wait, it's wait, wait. I have this. That I take off the ring of free action. Oh. oh. Jesus. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah. <clears throat> I really want it. Jade. So fuck you. <laughs> Keep it. I mean, I'm offering uh, two staffs. I mean, the power has yeah. got to be better than what I've got. I mean, the frost staff is amazing yeah. for a start, but... <clears throat> the guilt, I, I, the I haven't heard staffs. you make an offer yet, so... Uh, he, he said he I'm held out two there, staffs. Yeah. I'm yeah. holding it with two staffs, so... That thing is distasteful. Um, sorry, I can't think you messaged me. I'm not sure what you're talking about for the... Uh, the, the glass. I think she's talking about the glass, the glass rapier, rapier that I found. Yeah. In a, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's mostly oh, a trinket. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just pretty. Uh, it's worthless. Okay. Yeah, it's valuable, <laughs> it's but worthless. Um, <laughs> and she will say, a staff of frost is a bit paltry compared to this. Let me, let me see it. I have this in the spell book. Maris, what about your bookie book? Oh, right, 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 the boogie book. No, no, uh, no, no, that's worth no, a lot more. No, no, no. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. No boogie book. I mean, what the... <laughs> Who said boogie book? <laughs> That's about a ring. I've got the spell book of an Arkenloth. God bless you. They are accomplished creatures. Hmm. Interesting. Don't you even want to hold the staff? Try it out? Well, that's what she was asking. Can I see? May I see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she takes the <laughs> staff of frost and yeah, yeah, yeah. holds it in her other hand. Hmm. Didn't it mess you up when you first touched it, Jade? This, Yeah, but it's... It did. You don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make you evil, but it just... You, you, might you seek power, the which Alimus does, so it's, it, it suits Alimus. I mean, didn't it do damage <clears> to you? 
No. Uh, no, I don't think no? so. No? Okay. No. And do you? She's looking to Jeswaldo. Because didn't you, did you mention the ring to her? If that is what it takes. I mean, I don't know anything about these things, Elimus. Is it worth it? This ring, it allows me to move over ground that is sticky. It lets me get through my uh, allies without encumbering them. It's I mean, the, incredibly useful, but if the staff is more useful than that, then I, I trust the you. The one thing we know for sure about this staff is that it was in the tomb of Kazan, who is an immensely powerful mage. I say to... to it's your call. I without, uh, if I can, without her uh, hearing... <clears throat> I, uh... I whisper to Jeswaldo, it's probably the most powerful staff ever that could be made. Done. And I take off the ring. Very useful. I'm just hoping it can help us against Strahd. Hmm. And she looks at it carefully. Says, well, I do intend to get this back once you've died. Hey, excuse me, once we've died? Well, can I have my ring back once the you die? The Arcana Loth spellbook, please. <laughs> she looks it over. Oh, I had over. Okay, I like still mean what I said, that I hope I wish you the best, because that's the sort of person that I am. But... I think maybe as you go on your journey, you need to take a good hard look at yourself. Maris takes a sip from her ewer. <laughs> I stifle a... <laughs> and then she says, and the ewer. <laughs> I want the ewer oh, as well. I say, no, 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 Stay not. away from my ewer! <laughs> so did she take the ring? Uh, That's what she, did. she did. She did. All right. Got it. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. She still hasn't accepted it. I mean, I'm assuming she's not taking everything. She will take all three. Oh, really? Like, yes, she will. Not yes, the she ewer. will. Not the ewer. Not the ewer. No. So the the spellbook of the Akarnaloth, the Staff of Frost, and the Ring of Free Action in return for... The Staff of Power. The Staff of Power. Okay. That is a hard trade, but I think we did the right choice. So, right, I've lost a Staff of Frost then. Yeah. But Let's you got go. a Staff of Power. It better be a Staff of <laughs> Don't worry, Strahd I won't killing. take it from you. <laughs> it's a good that. Staff. Staff of Strahd killing power. And yeah, she... Okay. I want to see um, what color it is first. Is it Staff of the Magi, yeah? No, no absolutely staff not. Staff of power. God, it's the same... We got like a, it's the same a not even close to being Staff of the Magi. <laughs> yeah. Staff of the, the Magi same, is... Uh, level as uh, a Staff of Frost. It is... The, the uh, Staff of Power? Yeah, but it's way better. <laughs> it's, oh, it? okay. staff, of, staff of Frost is actually a pretty underwhelming, very rare. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Yeah, it did. But there it is. Um, so uh, at this point, it looks like they are going to leave. Um, I think we'll move to take a break pretty quickly here. But sh um, Casimir and Petrina intend to leave. He is going to leave. He has packed up basically anything he needs to travel. His spell books, his, his you know, his... Um, uh, a couple potions and stuff like that. Anything to take. And leaves you the key as well to the hut. As he indicates he never intends to return. I don't know where he's going, but he is going to follow her and lay low somewhere for a bit. Dim. What's that? Nothing. Um, well, we'll put the skull in the hut and head off to go retrieve... Um... The amulet from wherever Jeswaldo hid it. All right. Sorry, you were muted. We're there. going to go to the uh, the coffee maker shop, and yes. we will do that when we get back. Resume here. Are out at the uh, the hill here. Soft rain falling. It is evening. Um. There's a little bit of coming and going. Not quite as much as you uh, hear in the soundtrack, but there is this sense that there's the slightest bit of life here in this old hilltop where the Dusk Elves live. But other than that, it is quiet. Casimir, Petrina have left you and you sit with an enormous skull sitting between all of you in this little hut. Damn, that 
Well, I think it's time to go. This has been the weirdest day. Absolutely. Um, who wants to go to visit the coffin maker? I'll go with you. I'll go. Oh, uh, yeah, it can wait. All right, good. What, what can wait? Seriously, you can wait. This is more important. We need to go get this. What I had to say was, well, it's important, but I can say it later. Okay. Being very cryptic, just while though. And I will achieve yeah, it while we're walking. Okay. Okay. All right. I can't wait to see this fellow again. Stop. Here's the earth. Oh, and, oh, and as we go in, I put I put my uh, my mask Dang, back on. Sweet earth, you might say. Be sweet earth. You put your mask back on. Yes. Um. So, so Jaswaldo, also you have have you dropped your mask at any point or dropped your armor to look at yourself? He had his mask off from. I had my mask off earlier. Earlier. Okay, so you're completely you had completely removed it. Yeah. Yes. Um, I wanted people to see me. But yes. Oh. It looks like. His teeth look just a little straighter than they were before, a little more intact. Ooh. The effects of Zudun the Corpse Star seem to be slowly reducing themselves on his body. He's looking a little more lifelike Ooh. by the moment. Hmm. Less corpse, more star. <laughs> so. Wow. Cypher's like, well, I could fix that. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Wink. Cyber's. Ew. Okay, let's go. I'm like, you look fine for a human. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Athelflaed's like, gross. So you head into Valaki. Or you head towards Valaki. You've been let in before. Now, this time it's night, the gates are closed. And there are, um, there aren't really guard towers. It's not quite that big of a city, but you see there are these little stands behind the palisades where guards can look over and watch. Um, you see maybe four figures up holding torches. By the way, are you leaving the skull behind? Um, obviously, the intention Probably. was to lock it into um, hut? Casimir's hut. Yeah. I really think somebody needs to stay here with it. I'll stay. Maybe I'm, I'm no good on a stealth mission either. Well, what'd you say? Maybe somebody else as well. Um, since it's supposed to be stealthy, um, Maris, maybe you should. Sure. I mean, just Waldo taught me how to be stealthy, so. Or no, I meant. Oh. Here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll stay. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, bye. Be careful. Bye. So who's going? Me. And Cyborg? Three of you. Yeah, it's um, Cl Claire and, and Maris Alignment. are staying. Gotcha. Everyone else is okay. going. So you guys, you see the the um, palisades in the distance there and the uh, um, torches up on the walls. And um, you are stopped at the gate. Hello. It's a little late to be coming into town, eh? Well, it's a little late to be doing anything, even guarding. Maybe you should, I don't know, take a break. You deserve it. Panache. <laughs> <laughs> it works on just one of them, right? I, I can or... make it I can make the the the, uh, the check on all of them one at a time. Okay. One goes, uh, oh, what's your save? Um, it's not a saving throw. It's a contested roll against my persuasion. And Versus I'm going to guess I can take all my whispers off now that I'm not rolling secretly. You were rolling secretly? Oh my god. 20. First one, it's an insight versus. Mm -hmm. Got a four. He goes, um. Oh. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to go get more torches. And he just turns around and kind of goes down. How long does it last? Only a minute. So if he I turns just... around, uh, the next one, we can use that same roll. 
Um, highest I, I don't I have know that is a I... 17, but what's it? Okay, the highest roll you have is a 17, fine. Then, then it all works. Yeah, they all go, okay, yeah. Um, stretch our legs a little bit, and they all I mean... kind of descend from the towers. All right, here we go. I go and I Good unlock job. the door. Okay, it is locked. Um, not a difficult check, but... I have rolled a 25. Okay. It's unlocked. Quickly, they'll be back in 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody in, and then we're going to hide. Where is it? Okay, we go in. I relock the gate. Okay. Where was the stealth? Make ball? everyone make a stealth check. Yep. Oh. So they did not get particularly far, so we still need to be... Oh, I thought Vlad. Whoa, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Guys! Oh, what am I doing? I'm not doing? even here! <laughs> Holy crap! I'm making a beeline oh. for the uh, coffin maker shop. Okay. <laughs> Claire yeah, feels I... a little itch, oh, like um, something has gone. It's a minute, oh. so we would have Maris probably looks lost to Claire, them. everything good? DM, so Cyborg's plan was to actually feeling. fly. <laughs> To the coffin maker shop, but okay. I was oh, wondering cool. how stealthy you'd I, I be with him. bone wings sticking I out. Grab him. Yeah, right. It's where he keeps all of his money. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In the upstairs, and, and the Ryan upstairs runs room. to the window. <laughs> yeah, jumps out. <laughs> and Please you, don't. Oh, start to fly, Cyborg. Ryan, you no. Know. Um, the rest of you hear a bit of a hey. What? You can't just... And they do begin to pursue a bit, kind of shouting at you guys. But I was so stealthy. You were not. <laughs> they did not have a good passive Rise perception. And, slander. and you guys got... Uh, um, yeah, nobody rolled managed... above a 13. Nope, and they have a passive of 12, and as a group yeah. check, you guys oh. failed a 12. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, and right the 13 13? was a comfort. Oh, mm -hmm. dice. Little snake. And they are um, currently pursuing you. We will get to Cyborg in a bit, but you see there are some armored guards. Hey, we got s someone b broke through the gate. Kind of. Oh, I, I, yeah. I assume Akantha was with me, but that is that. Oh, you were carrying Akantha. I'm if, sorry. Oh, am I still am I still with you? Uh, unless, <laughs> unless, unless stated otherwise, <laughs> I imagine I'm carrying you with like a baby Bjorn sort of thing going on. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, then I'm totally still with you. In that <laughs> case, it's just uh, it's just Athelflaed and um, and just Waldo <laughs> and, and Elimus. And, and, and the Elimus. And the Elimus. Yeah. Oh my God. That's okay. We're three Ooh. heavy hitters. We're fine. We got this. You, hey, hey, stop! I turn around. Walt. Athelflaed's like finally. Oh, a little action. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, four of them now come with pikes sort of lowered at you guys saying you can't just and they kind of look at just Waldo especially confused you can't just do that there's do wolves what? out there you just let it's us very in dangerous. yeah but we have to let you in that's how it works well, you let us in call the wake up the captain and get some instructions well, but you let us what, in what about the toll The toll, right. <clears throat> Is that what you're saying? We forgot to pay the toll? Yeah, I mean... They all kind of look at each other. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Bribery! <laughs> can I aid Six. him? Oh, what, what, I did 17. say can I aid him before he rolls it, but... Yeah, do, do, are, you a pers are you proficient yeah. in persuasion? Yes, I am, yeah. What would you say to add? Uh, so what did you say again? Oh, the toll. I said that. Uh, what about the what about the toll? Yes, fill your greedy pockets with our money. <laughs> <laughs> so at the moment I have a seventeen, and with Elimus's help, I roll a. <laughs> is, it, is it help? It's that's, advantage. That's pushing it. That's <laughs> twenty-six. Well, Elimus oh. is more about fear. That's not fear-inducing. That's like I you're really afraid of my soul. I don't consider it being greedy, Elimus. I consider it justly deserved rewards for a very difficult job, which no one appreciates except for me. 
So, whose job is it to get the toll? Is it everybody's job? It seems like a big job. It probably requires all of you. Wouldn't you say? It's Peter Frozen. Yes, Peter is frozen. Oh no! Peter is frozen, which means that it oh, automatically man. succeeds, right? Yeah, yes. that's yeah. like the worst him. person to freeze. You it means that him. I'm the DM now. No, no, it's the <laughs> best person to freeze. Oh, so I loved how Alimus is like, let's roll for persuasion, you fucking thieves. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm, I'm just—I'm quite happy just to start casting fireballs. So you, you just keep using. Make that sure word. I'm out of the radius. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> I don't think that means what you think. Oh it means. God, that's right. Are these sixes? I don't think it means what you think. Oh, yeah. uh, Pixie, thanks for reminding it. We should have used all our d sixes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to take our DMs. No, 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 no. No one needs to make anything. I because bet, uh, I've been an idiot all these years. Did not realize. Well, I don't even know how long Zoom's been able to do this, but you can, I can drag people to where I want them. <gasps> hey! I can also <laughs> drag people to where I want them to. Filthy <laughs> <laughs> thieves! Oh, 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 That's concerning. So we will. Uh, yes, the next roll that I make, I'm definitely going to use that d6. Um, yeah. it's got to be used tonight. Yeah. So, uh, I so. forgot. So. Oh, anyway. The uh, success, Holes. obviously, on that um, persuasion check. Uh, how much gold are you offering in the toll? How many guards are there? Four. I will offer them each five gold apiece. One looks at you. He kind of gets a little bold and says, I've, You're a lot of clinking in there, money bags. Oh, you know, how about, you're right. How about you double that and we'll. How about I double it and you let us leave in about mm. 10 minutes? You're lucky you spoke there. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Deal. Deal. There you are. So I have 50 gold. They all look very excited. <laughs> you give them 50 gold? No, sorry. I'm out. <laughs> so it's 10 gold to 40 gold. Yeah. Uh, I see. That's a lot of money. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a shit ton That is of money. a lot <laughs> of money. These guys are now set up for like a life. Few, <laughs> few months' wages. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm just increase the that. economy of Valaki by an order yeah. of magnitude. Good job. I, I wish to add to that. A greed can bring great curses. Let's hope one of them's not. And I cast deception. I'll do deception. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a natural 20. That rolled off oh, a natural 20. Roll your D6. I've already used it. Oh. When did you yeah. use it? Oh, I, yeah. I used it on a... You, you just put, keep you pushing know. your little jade. <laughs> Listen to this guy. What is, you, what is it that you said? I say uh, about greed. Nothing. He said nothing. Can lead to curses. Let's hope one of them's not cursed. I mean... The coin. Personally, it greed has never led to me anywhere. But they kind of look rich. down at the um, the uh, gold. You notice who they're looking. They are all printed with the visage of Strad von Sarovich. They kind of. I'll take my chances. Do so. Good man. Uh, See you in a few minutes. Mm. And they uh, make their they make their way back to the gate. I cast fireball. <laughs> God damn it! In a few, uh, it'll take you guys a minute or two to catch up to Cyborg and Akantha, who have landed outside of the coffin maker's shop. What are the two of you doing? Oh, scare him good. Two of us. <laughs> mm hmm. So uh, my plan was to see if there was a second level entry and to try to get into the coffin maker's shop. They are um, barred windows, basically. So they have, you know, that sort of latticework metal on them. Um, it's just a typical feature. It's not like it's a, it's not super secure, but it it, it would. Um, I mean, you could break through it, but there's no feasible way to open them. It would take. It would be loud, and it would take some effort. Okay. So yeah. So wow. Barred doors on the coffin maker shop. Uh, the windows are just, it's, you know that, I, I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. He's had a you bad week. Yeah, I was going to say. He, <laughs> Do you he know that lattice? In after a certain party teleported it into the middle of the shop. <laughs> yeah, it's paned glass, but there's, um, it's metal paned. 
So no. they're just they're just solid windows. It's not like um, yeah. no, no, it makes sense. People a hole in the side of the dying to get in. Yeah, get out. <laughs> that's it. I quit. That is, that's it. I quit. I quit. Rage quit. I can't. Rage quit. Done. One too many dad jokes. <laughs> Damn. Did I, did I miss a pun? No. no. Yes, but Ryan, it's not worth Ryan it. I would never. I would never. I would never. No. It's, no. it's a good one to miss. It's a good one to miss. To stop this coffin. All right. So let's go in through the front door then. Okay. Yeah. What do we need a coffin for? You notice that the front door is not locked. It swings open for you. Do you oh. enter? Uh, it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. I open the door. Okay. You open to see here the familiar uh, workshop that you have seen. Well, actually, I should say this. There's a regular front door and a sort of back door into the workshop. Oh, it, whatever the, yeah, so it would definitely be the back door because that was the one that we, that's the only one I was aware of. And that was actually, that's the one you've got. There's the one into the showroom, but you yeah, know, you, yeah. showroom. you guys have been backdooring everything. Um, Wait. Right. Right. Hashtag expecte, but oh, I, you took it a different place. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Boom phrasing. Yeah. Oh dear. Um, phrasing. Phrasing. That's on, that's on brand. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so you guys enter into that uh, sort of first um, workshop area, and okay. it is dark, very dark, All and right. empty. There are no lights on. At the moment, I pull my moon blade. And okay, softly illuminates the room in a nice lovely. pale light. Should I jump myself onto the map, DM, or? Yep, go ahead. I'm immediately killed. No. Um, <laughs> well, the first thing I know: Do you wait for your companions, or are you guys going to go in and do this? Oh, well, so Jeswaldo told me uh, kind of hurriedly where it was. So uh, Cyborg being Cyborg, uh, he's <laughs> curious and he's going to be like, okay. Uh, so he, he so he kind of sets Akantha down off his back and says, "Okay, uh, he said it was where he keeps his money." I just now realized that neither of us have a lot of familiarity with this place, do we? Um, are there rats here? I bet there are rats. Oh yeah, or dust mites maybe? Or oh, well, dust mites don't really like to talk. All they do That's is they just like to float and moat around. Oh, I hate that. Stop it. Stop All it. Right. Hi, friends. Show off. <laughs> I knew it was Sean. <laughs> that made the, the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Oh, that was the most amazing like. rat so, noise ever. You know, you have, you also would understand, though, that rats might necessarily not have an understanding of, you know, the concept of wealth. No, but they know what shiny oh. things are. <laughs> Good point. <Ooh. laughs> Shiny. I used to have a pet rat. She loves shiny things. So there are. Um, I is, love is that what you're going to start doing? Searching around for rats? Yes, I am going to call for them with my summon. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that is exactly what I do. <laughs> if it's a what kind of summon spell is it? Because if you are conjuring them, it will summon the ones that are that are sort of created by magic. It won't draw the mm. resident rats to your location, if that makes sense. Gore the, rats? Oh, oh no. Okay, no. so I'm going to use my speak with animals and just call out for any of the resident rats. And, I think uh, in Barovia, they're, they're called splats. There oh. it is. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, what do you call out? Rats! Come here! I need some help, please! I'll give you some food. You start to hear scritch, 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 scritch. Uh, yep, that, that, that'll do it. I knew they wanted to. Oh, they sound so cute. I hope just everyone takes out their headphones. And a couple of them, uh, you see them I'm a shot. from under a floorboard over, let's see, over here and up under the table. There's one of them fat. You see, Gus. you see, yeah, exactly. Gus, Gus. You see three 
rats just kind of looking around. <gasps> Hi, friends. If I give you some food, can you help me, please? <gasps> Great. And I'll throw off my pack and just start <laughs> until I find some food. <laughs> okay. Um, they'll kind of wait and crouch back. I'll slowly walk up to them and break it, bread, whatever it is I've found, and off into little pieces. I need help finding something. I need to find some sh shiny round things. Can you do that? Can you help me find shiny round things? <gasps> and I'll give them all the food. Thank you. So everyone, they're going to help us find shiny, shiny round things. I an animal handling check. Yes, please. Don't forget your D D6. <laughs> Well, I kind of have a plus six, so I may not need it, but this yeah, is so I bad. have a plus 13 to yeah. my stealth, and I yeah, still, that's... yeah. I thought oh, about oh, that with deception. Oh. I made myself plus look like 13. an idiot. Yeah, yeah. The dice tell a story, and sometimes that story is fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> who lives, who dies, who tells your story? <laughs> you threw away your shot, Liz. Fair you enough. Threw it away. I'm not. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. And a, then I'm going to use my that was our, that was our, You rolled Arcana. Which is oh. only a plus one. Yeah, so what's your modifier? You said plus six? So that's a 16. 15. Yeah. 15. No, it would be, a, it would be a 15. Oh. Okay, so I hit the wrong one. It's, it's all good. All right, so 15, yeah, a couple of them. So two of them scurry around. One of them uh, kind of... And I can't do the that sound at all. So it... No. it um, Sort of starts uh, scratching around a drawer in you want the, the workshop. Over here. Best Sean. <laughs> Another one. Well, hi, Akanta. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what are you, Rats? Oh, my God. We can help you out today. Why oh, did you come boy. join us down at Disney? Peter's it's slowly just... losing control. <laughs> Peter, aren't you so glad that this is your campaign? <laughs> 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 I have so much more food for you guys. I can't wait for you to just oh, keep talking oh, to me the whole game. Yeah, they are very, goofy they are very excited and going animals. everywhere. A couple of them, um, just for like gesture, like up, up. But a couple of them are down here, saying right here, right here, right here. Um, um, Cypher, you're taller. You go to the ones pointing up, and I'll go over here, pointing to the ones that are pointing down. <laughs> okay. They found something. Go no, check it out. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll follow the mice. Rats. They're rats. They rats. don't like to be called mice. That's rude. Uh, of course not. That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Talking to mice. Okay. Uh, DM, where where are the rats? They uh, are gesturing up, and you see them kind of crawl up excuse me, the side of the wall and then disappear in a little hole as if that's their path to the second story. Oh, okay. Um, so I can story that. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, are you are you coming with me or are you going to stay here? I'm gonna. These are pointing down, so I'm going to go with these. Whoa, 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 whoa! We we, sh we should explore those one at a time. I think we. I mean, cats have really short attention spans. If we don't hurry, they'll get bored and they'll go away. Okay, okay, then uh, I'll then I'll follow you. The well, ones go going up, go you're down? saying, or. Well, you said yours are going down, right? Mm -hmm. So. But the other ones are going up. So one of us needs to go up and one of us needs to go okay, down. Okay, okay. Just, just. Oh, God, I hate this. Please be careful. I don't know the premise. If anything scares me, I'll turn into a rat and run away. I love that. That's a great plan. Do that. Okay. Um, uh, and Cyber's going to open. Snake. Those are fun, too. Is this door open, DM? You can open it, yes. And you know this one is the one of the stairs leading up. Excellent. Cyborg's going to uh, head upstairs then. Do you think we would have arrived there by now, Dean? Um, in uh, just a few moments, yes. Right. <laughs> he has a very <laughs> fast speed, and you guys were bribing and negotiating for a bit. So. Long enough for us to get killed. Oh, um, Akanta, the first thing that you find, there are, there are three rats indicating things down here. The first one says, here, here, here. You open it up, and it seems to be a box of nails. And it kind of holds up a nail with its little rat fingers and points to the head of the nail. Ta -da! Oh, round, shiny, oh round, shiny. And then it kind of goes like using its arms awkwardly over the box of nails showing so many round and shiny things. It's really excited. It's so perfect. You guys did a great job. 
I'm going to take these. I'm going to take the nails and I'll put them in my bag. Thank you so much for <laughs> helping. I need to, there's another little, little round, tiny thing that I'm looking for. They're about this big. I assume they're about this big. They're about this big and they're shiny and there's nothing attached to them. Have you seen any of those? Um, they kind of cock their heads and kind of start rustling around again through this workshop. Um, Cyborg, you go upstairs again. There's a kitchen here and the rat is indicating coming into this room. Uh, this room? This one here. Oh, I'm not I'm not on the right lever. I here, was gonna say this room here. Okay, excellent. Then I will follow the rats. Okay. He's on the layer that strads on. Alright. Okay. Um you come on in and it is a very dark in this room. And uh you see a rat kind of uh walking over to one over to this bed here, and one to this cabinet here. Okay. And you feel sort of a um, sharp sensation towards your ribs. Oh. And you hear a voice that says, Exhale slowly, boy. Help this blade find your heart. It'll be done quicker that way. And to be fair, DM, I did say that I had my Moonblade sword out. He has a 25 on his stealth roll. Is it fucking Aragal? Oh, He's not quite sure yet. But um, He's okay. a bitch. Coming in on the second round is the rest of the party. I no. guess after the we'll do a surprise round and then a round oh. and then the rest of the party will come in. Yeah. Cyborg except for Claire and, and Akantha right, and everyone yeah. except for you and Claire. I need you to roll initiative. What a pair to leave behind for combat. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. I send love yeah. and light your way. Namaste. Yeah. <laughs> Blessings of Saloon be upon you all. Okay. Namaste. Yeah, that's not great, but it's not bad. All right. Did you this say you need us all to roll? This guy's a little bitch, and I hope you kill him. Oh, good. Um, oh, man, I thought this was the frog eating namaste. something. Bitch, and I was like, oh, I'm, so, I'm dead. I'm so dead. This we're, is all, a we're all reading this, bitch. right? Yeah, uh, we're oh, all getting. Initiative. You're all gonna roll initiative. Yes. Right. <laughs> if only you were there right at the start. I, I will be very there. soon with a roll of a thirty point two. <laughs> okay then. Time for some monkey business. Monkey business. Straw nanakins. Straw nanakins. <laughs> all right. Um. I don't see. I only see a couple initiative rolls. Well, we didn't have our um. Yeah, our, I don't have a marker. On the board. So please pull on your tokens, and I'll add them. So anyone who's in the uh, going oh, to be okay. in the combat. Um, Giant uh, marker. We might have to switch up the just Waldo token. Oh, that's true. Like that. He's no longer dead, Waldo. It's Yay. very true. Uh, oh, I like that roll much better too. That's my. Nice Let's go Waldo. with that one. Even Normal Waldo. Friend Waldo. Friend Waldo. Friend Waldo. Neutral Waldo. Yeah. No, so I think you've moved beyond neutral. That doesn't really flow as well. I'm just. I, Heart Waldo? Don't assume that we're friends. Ooh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Drama. There it is. Amy. Look. Oh, what's Ever, you still did better than him. I rolled twice by accident. <laughs> oh, never mind. I did, I did, I did. I take it back. Yeah, you never, you never want to go after a monk. Yeah. He is, uh, is there a, do you have a feature that prevents you from being surprised? Um, uh, n no, not that I'm aware okay. of. So. Good to know. I mean, maybe. All righty. What? Oh, best What? Do we get battle music? Yes. Getting there. Actually I'm kind of liking the dulcet harp. The dulcet harp battle music. Indeed. Um, where are we going here? Every now and then, I have to murder. <laughs> We've all been there, am I right, guys? I mean, right, right. <laughs> Don't be awful mad. Oh, <laughs> hey. Pull <laughs> oh, I love it. Will that. you help me hide a body? Two figures reveal themselves. Poor Peter. Well, but a bit too late. Wait, what? Um, the first short sword attack comes at you, Cyvor, 
as he tries to plunge it deeper. Um, you are surprised. And does a 19 hit you? Uh, yes, 19 hits me. All right, this is going to hurt. Um, we have a, uh, let's see. Yeah, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Great. Uh, the poison, don't forget the d6. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, and then with the magic of a pixie, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be a 17 on that con save. Okay. So you will take... Thank you, Pixie. This is good. Thank um, you. It's not doing this automatically. So I, do a th I should have forced crits on here, but all right. So five <laughs> plus another. You'll just see my rolls here. That's fine. Sixth piercing damage with another dose of... That's not so bad. Yeah. Additional 27 points of piercing damage. Holy shit! <laughs> Sneak attack. And... What? 20, 24 points of poison damage. Wait, so... There was piercing, piercing, and poison. And poison? Oh yeah, no, I'm 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 down for the count, guys. Even with the half of the poison. So you made your saving throw, so you only yeah. took twenty-four poison. Oh yeah, no, the um, so <laughs> that, that stab took me down to two. So oh, yeah. okay, the poison Oops. definitely knocked me out. So overkill. Mm. Gotcha. Awkward. I'm sorry. Akantha. Damn it. I have a, um, I have a eight, uh, no, a 10, which is amazing. Eight and a 10 at rolling an advantage, then a 20 on the second no attack. The 20 oh, yeah. hits, I believe. I believe eight does the not. 20? Yes, the 20 hits. And so we're going to be doing the same thing here. Oh dear. So I have nine plus. One, so 10 points of piercing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. 10 damage, constitution saving throw. There you go. Go. Oh, I'm gonna Ooh. use my, my inspiration because I didn't use it last time. Did I? No, because. No, you didn't. You rolled a 15. That's right. So we're at 35 points of damage so far. Please. Come on. Oh, yeah! Unfortunately, 13 is not enough. Boo. How many? How many points of damage? 50 points of poison damage. Oh, my gosh. What is your hit? What's your hit point, Max Akanta? 66, I believe. 66. She's good. But You're good. we weren't. We had, yeah. Had we ever had a okay. long rest? No. No, no we have so not. No. But you had healed, right? I was. She up was to up to twenty something. Yeah. Yeah. So the first now hit took her down to one, then... the fifty, but still not over her max. Yeah. Because okay. it's got to be over her max health, right? Right. That's, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you are unconscious, heavily yes. unconscious. Because <laughs> I haven't, heavily. I haven't wild shaped either. How can you be heavily unconscious? I'm very scared. It's, uh, you make a lot of noise when you fall down. Cyborg, I need you to make a death saving throw, please. Oh, good. I'm unconscious. Rats avenge me. Uh, okay, so that's just a con save. All right. Come on. An 11. It's not a con save. It's, it's a, just it's, a D six. It's a D tw a twenty, but you rolled a ten, a so you're oh, good. Oh, oh yeah. okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I'm so well, good to know. All right. So, uh, let's see. All right. 
They are going to... Let's see. Uh, Cyvor. That's Limus's uh, is a turn when he arrives. We so. know what is going on now. Next turn, Limus, you can act. Okay. Or sorry, not quite. This would be the turn when you guys arrive. Um. Okay. Thanks to Pixie, we've been offered a D twenty inspiration. So please roll. You guys want to just roll for the people who are in the combat? Yeah, the yeah, people yeah, yeah, who... Yeah. I was gonna all, all, all we it's have fine. to do is start We're getting good. characters We're drop. Good. Yeah, all right. Fucking one. Do the unconscious people mm. get to roll Me as too, well? Me too, though. You do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I knew. Why am I please. rolling? Cyber nice. wins that. Nice, Cyber. Uh, thank you very much, Pixie. Uh, just quickly, Ryan. Have you hey. taken your character off of the D&D Beyond campaign? Because it's no, no longer on there. Was one one one? Cyber's not on the Curse of Strahd campaign for some reason. What? I don't know. Um, anyway. Also, so, before we start uh, that, Pixie's just come in with $20. Pixie! For what two, are you doing? two healing potions. Oh, wow. Pixie! So, All right, let's go to some of the alive people. We've got a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Pixie's amazing. Two regulars going to. Uh, let's go um, uh, to just Waldo. And to Athelflaed. Two regulars, one Thank each. Thank you, Pixie. One each. Yeah. And Athelflaed, you arrive, and it is quiet inside. You call out for your companions, you don't hear them. Something's up. Um, then I would. I guess I will. I'm not on. I'm not on the list there, DM. Um, and I rolled a oh, thirty. Oh, you were. You I you would have gone 30. ahead of her, so yeah. I apologize. I'm so sorry. That's was well like, I don't think I'm. I wasn't expecting my turn. <sighs> excuses, excuses. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so All sorry. Right, just Waldo. All right, so I know that there's something wrong. You said, I suspect. Indeed. Yeah, we can't see the, the little bit. Put my hand. Right, I kick open the door. You see, um, in the process of tying up an unconscious bleeding Akantha is this um, cloaked figure. Oh, no, 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 you should not have done that. You hear, it is very nice to see you again. Huh? You're looking very much worse for the wear. And she Bitch. pulls down the hood, and you see this half-shaven head, this blonde, almost platinum hair cascading down to one side. A woman who plucked a few pieces of your hair one night, and then you enjoyed an evening with her under the starlight. She now is covered in the blood of your friend. Forget and her. looks at you with a smile. Really? That's the best you've got? <clears throat> oh my god, I hate her. Who is this? Her name is Alenka. <laughs> is, is this Alenka? This is Alenka. Okay. Yeah, she was like one of the first people we met when we got here. <laughs> we Warned forgot you, about her. I, about <laughs> the power that is to be had here. Seems I was right then. You've always talked too much. Let's do this. Doing this is my middle finger. And I... <laughs> <laughs> well done. All right, here we go. May I attack? You may. All right, I'm going to attack her with the luck blade. Come on, luck blade. What do you got for me? Kaboom. Luck be a blade tonight. A bladey tonight. <laughs> oh, a blade. you beat... <laughs> there, it is. there goes the dice barf. I have rolled wow. a 24. That will hit. That is 24 points of piercing damage. 26. Ooh. 26 points of piercing damage. Thank you. Gotcha. 26. Gotcha. Um, is somebody right behind me? I'm assuming we Yes. Yeah. yeah, I was like. Both of us are right behind you. They've, you've been running through them. They've, you've been first, obviously. But yeah. Um, may I 
I guess what I'm it, technically right behind you. What will it take for you? me to feed Akanta a um, healing potion? An action. An action. All right. Um... I will step to here. And then to here. Okay. Anything else from you? Um, nope. Like that. Athoflad. You run up and you um, hear this brief exchange of words from Jaswaldo and Alenka. Mm -hmm. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is use my bonus action to cast Healing Spirit. So Commander Peepers shows up. Yay, Commander Yay, Peepers! Yay, Commander Peepers! Oh, the little red panda shows up. Yes! And starts elbow dropping a canter. <laughs> it, yeah, no, it, it nuzzles it, up like it can... makes a little Are they... fuzzy love scarf around her and kind of curls up around her shoulders. Yeah. I'll are are Acantha and Cyborg like actually close to each other? No, no so you don't serious. know where Cyborg is. Okay, that's what I can't remember. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, so definitely to Acantha, immediately save save my tiny druid friend, and I do not know this person. So I'm going to. You did I don't, just see Jeswaldo stab her. I know. So it's like I don't know her. So I'm just gonna trust him on this. Who's she? Use the magic sword. I, I'm not going to use the magic sword yet, because mm. we all know what I do best. Is why are my? Here you go. That'll work. And I was gonna. Ooh. I like that I can't click damage for the second hit, but. <laughs> That's annoying. Um, does a 27 and a 31 hit DM? Uh, they Ooh, do. <laughs> Just click click the longbow plus yeah. one twice to roll okay. your damages. What a good launch. Oh, 20 points of damage. Pretty good. Look good. And she, <laughs> she takes <laughs> both as they kind of knock her backwards a little bit. She'd been kind of curled over as this uh, blade from Jaswaldo had stuck just above her hip into her um, torso, which she grabbed. And then this, uh, this the um, inertia from the arrows uh, knocks her back a little bit. But she is holding onto her swords and there is a intense focus, a killer's focus that is manifesting in her eyes right now. Anything else for Ethelflaed? Um... I guess I'm going to sidestep because I'm in the door, so I'm going to sidestep so that Elimus gets better line of sight when he comes in. Okay, cool. Akatha, it is your turn. Oh. Healing spirit! Oh, do I need to link that? I should do that. Yeah, go ahead and I roll. I didn't actually click that. It's a D6 plus your mod or just a D6? I'll just... It's just a D6. Yeah. Hold on. And you are concentrating on that, I believe, correct? Or is that not a yes, concentration spell? Yes, that's a concentration. Okay. Up to one minute. All right. Kantha, you are awake with three hit points. There are some, you are partially bound, but then she did not finish the um, action of doing that. You are, you see your own blood sopping in your clothing. Wild shape into the biggest thing you've got. <laughs> yeah. Be a chonker. Yeah, she's, she's going to look around and be very panicked and the toughest thing I have like with the most long. amount of hit points that I have it's going to be everybody's favorite giant constrictor yeah snake yeah. watch 2020 snake for the win alright it's like a big one it is it's, it's like a here we go here we go chonky boy Real chonky boy um Chonky snack? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Chonky snack. <laughs> Let's. All right. I think I've got this. Save. We'll pull it on here. You might have to um, direct me where you want to go because we can't quite upload this totally. Yes. But how's that look? Are you a large yes. size for this? Yes. Well, it says huge beast. Oh, you can shape into a huge beast? Is that. I didn't realize it was the I giant. I can go up to a challenge rating of two. And what is a giant constrictor? 
giant constrictor is challenge rating two. What's the size of it? Uh, huge. 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 All right. Sorry. Let's do this one. Oh my god. Land. Hopefully this one's not Land. annoying. On ah, curses! I didn't do this in advance, but that's okay. You. There's a huge <laughs> constrictor a snake it's there. Okay. All right. <laughs> just uh, let's see. So we still have evil dude here, correct? Evil lady. Yes, evil lady. Lady. Oh, gross. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what you get? I am going to constrict her, so I will lunge forward and just wrap around her as tight as I can. All right, is that an attack? Yes, it is mainly to attack. So I think if I hit constrict, it'll do all of it. Ooh. Okay, so there's yeah. She has to make a DC saving throw of sixteen to escape. Gotcha. And it does 12 points of bludgeoning damage. So the attack roll of a 12, unfortunately, does not beat her armor class. As she kind of dodges out of the way as you lunge forward to constrict her. So you rolled a 6 on the attack roll, unfortunately. Mm. The sigh. Yes. I got that in there. Okay. Hey, so Liz I think I only and, uh, and Elena, how are you guys doing? Uh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just want to say that, that like, like, while I don't love that she is evil, I fully support her decision to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Hashtag feminism. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so confused. Anything else? Katrina. Fair enough. Anything else, Akantha? No, that's it. Okay. That's all I can do. I'll be back for you, bitch. First Respect of all, she will... Respect your decision to be evil. <laughs> gotcha. Um, ooh, this is not good. Um, what What is happening here? And... We will have, sorry, one moment. Jyote. What did you just say to me? I said, Jyote. You were going to need us to create a smoke screen for you while you do with uh, deal with technological No, 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 it is not. A, it's a, we um, now go um, deep uh, inside interesting. Boy's mind as he travels across the room. here. Um, nope. Smoke screen. She is going to simply say, Arigal! And make two short sword attacks against you, Jeswaldo. Okay, bring it on. I've got a 19 and an 8. Both of those miss as I knock them out of the way with my knuckle. <laughs> a little bit of fear in her eye now. As she should. And she's you, about yeah. to get the blasted. Right? Pa -pow. And upstairs. Um, Cyvor, as you are barely in and out of um, consciousness, you hear, really, I wish you the best of luck. And while getting up, Aragal will lazily let his blade drag across the floor and across your throat. <gasps> oh. That's two death saves. It is. Gone. What? To me, hits your armor class, but it's 22. And then, yes. let's measure this out. Oops. <laughs> Well, and let's make a stealth roll here. Oh, anyone with a passive perception above 14 yep. will hear steps. 
coming down the stairway. Did I hear the attack on, like, did I hear the gurgle from Cyborg? It was very subtle. No, oh. you would not know where he is right now. My Cyborg. What about the blood coming from the ceiling? The blood <laughs> is, is, he, is he bleeding oh. through the floor? Somebody left that the is toilet a running. Very yeah. good You've point. You've got some red on you. This blood or cranberry juice? No, I don't know. Out. How about you drink it and find out? Yeah. Oh, it's oh, blood. You have one. Crimson okay. rain. Crimson you, rain. Well, spotlight now on Cyvor, who Fred, has failed two death saves Fred, and succeeded on one. You've got advantage, Yay. remember. If and you want I do advantage. have advantage, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Again, fix You're using it, right? So, so, two yes. d20 rolls. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, so. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so, d20. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh well, and then the second one. Well, if you roll a 20, you auto stabilize. You didn't. Yay! Oh, you automatically awake, in fact, for the one hit point. Yeah. It's amazing. Boom! But not to be had today. Elimus! Oh. I know we were met, met a game in a little bit there, but do we see blood coming through the ceiling and hitting? Yeah, like if he's like bleeding not. out. Okay. Oh. I will not, not quite that fast. It's about yeah. it's been about uh, twelve seconds since he <sighs> took that first. But I would say that since oh. we came in and saw Akanta dying on the floor, oh, I didn't we see would that. Assume uh, did that, see, that, I did that. See that. Yeah, yeah, you see that. You you see Akanta bleeding and then you have no idea where into an enormous snake. Yeah. And I that's it. Look to Jeswaldo, and I'll say, where would the item be? He just points up. Okay. I will speak the words. Da, da, da. Gratis Caligo. And I will a misty step to here, which is directly above me. Okay. Which is. I was hoping to fight him, but obviously he's gone. Obviously, do I see Cyborg? Uh, yeah. Yes. You would see him lying on the ground there. I will step over him and feed him my healing potion. Okay. Cyborg I stabilizes with one the more, D4 plus I have two. One more left. So what is it? Sorry, 2D4. Mm-hmm. All right. Is it plus anything? Plus two? Plus two. So six hit points. Six back. Having fun. There's a, a dick in the house. He <laughs> Just while though it's your turn. <laughs> All right. What in the house? <laughs> There's some dick. Wink. There's some dick. Oh, I can't. I'm going to drink my potion <laughs> of heroism. So my potion of heroism is gone for one hour after drinking. I gain temp ten temporary hit points that last for one hour, and for the same duration, I am under the effect of the bless spell. No concentration required. Ooh. So it just always blessed for the next hour. Too blessed to be stressed. Am I right? That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And I was going, and I say to um, this lady, I can't remember her name. Alenka. What was her name again? Jerk. Because she's not Alenka? important anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was gonna say, I was going to say you fight like a dairy farmer, but it's actually more like a cow. And I cast panache on her. <laughs> so what does that do in it, combat? She has to make the um, beat the insight. She has to make an insight roll that beats a 29 plus bless. Boop. Just from however far away you're here. So boop, boop, 30. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, <laughs> on the And if she doesn't, then she has disadvantage on attacking anyone but me. Okay. And is I that will... an action to do so, or? It is an action. Yes. Okay. Um, was what was what would it, what did it cost me to drink my potion? Uh, drinking a potion would be an action. That's an action. I thought oh. it was a bonus action. 
No, and Peter. I thought it was an action. Is that only healing potions then? It's up to you. I There's no. You it differs. Between... It differs for DMs. So yeah. It's up to you. Oh. I've I'm, in, I'm I've never I'm I've never had bonus action potion drinking. Yeah, um, that, that is. Go, yeah, yeah. Was, and then in that case, I will um, say that I will do panache to see whether or not she. Um, Okay. She can't beat that. She does seem to be uh, affected by. Okay. Um, and I will use uh, my bonus action to disengage. And I will run through the door and I will begin to make my way up the steps. Kick open this door. You kick open the door and you see kind of crouched there on the stairs. Oh. Well, hello, Arigal. How convenient. I think there's a box over here with your name on it. He looks at you and smiles and says, Brother! Come out now. Not Luvash too. Shit. And you hear a <laughs> sound as um, heavily Armed Vistani After soldiers saving his daughter. begin to emerge. Uh oh. From the coffins. The Rude. And you also see no some Athelflad coming. Extra rude. From around the side. And uh. by heavily armed. I mean, most of them wielding dual weapons. They look like quite capable fighters. Bye, guys. <laughs> Goodbye forever. No, oh no negative nannery. They do that on All their right. turn. Okay. Luvash himself is. Pardon me. Oh, here he is. moves forward, threatening, looking, and says, I suggest you get inside, little elfy girl. Get inside and shut the door. Trust me on this one. And he gives you a wink. Um, I will. Oh, okay. And it is your turn, Athelflaed. Um, well, I guess I will hustle my bustle in. And that just messed up what I was going to do. Uh, Better hustle that bustle. It's the only type of bustle hustle I can do. Mm -hmm. um, Amen. Stop a bitch. Yeah, I was like, I was. Uh, have you guys seen the raid? Ah, we're getting raided. You Bye. guys. Bye. Oh, I'm oh, oh, yeah. Yay. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody join the giveaway. <laughs> Yay. Join our giveaway. <laughs> Hashtag. Oh, yeah. Exclamation point giveaway. And it was like, it's not a hashtag. Cool. Who sent their giveaway. viewers over? The DM layer. It's the DM layer. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Oh my god. DM layer. <gasps> Welcome to the channel. Oh my god. So 89. Oh my god. Oh, those of you just Most. rating. Holy um, shit. This is going to sound crazy. Holy Curse of Strahd. Uh, someone was charmed by Strahd and hid the holy symbol of Ravenkind in the coffin maker's shop. And now they're fighting to get it out. It was not cute, but we forgive him. Yeah, right. Gonna be. Oh yeah, we're doing a giveaway too. So everyone do exclamation point giveaway and win a cool little shirt. Yeah. You get to win so a shirt. Luke almost killed his party. Man, I feel a lot like Luke right now. Um, How dare you, no. <laughs> Avaflad? You have just gone inside and used a free action to close the door. Right. What do you yes. do now? I shall turn around and, <laughs> to quote whoever said it, I'm going to stab a bitch. Nice. Um, Yes, nice indeed. Um, and that's going to be with my magic sword. Shanks for the memories. Beep, 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 beep. Thanks for the memories. Two attacks oh. for action. Ah, oh, shit. Where did the other one go? Oh, there it is. Just being slow. Well, it's so a 13 and a 14. Do you have a D6 inspiration? Yes, I do. Roll it. Yeah. Much so, better. Uh, 17? 17 will hit. Oh. Thank you, Pixie. Pixie, I love Pixie. you. Pixie. Ooh, 11 points of 
of piercing damage. Yes. That's a hell of a stab for a short sword. That's good. <laughs> I'm extra mad because I don't uh, know what's going on. She takes it in the the other hip and kind of uh, doubles over, and she's beginning to panic a little bit now, looking around. As she should. She's about to get eaten, I think. Do you get Anything another else for Athelflaed? Huh? Do you get another attack? I did two attacks. One oh, was a 13 I only and one saw was the first a... one. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, one didn't hit. Yep, yep, yep. And Akantha, the giant constrictor snake, I believe that brings us to you. Now, you can move your uh, um, your healing spirit if you wish. Um, okay. Cracking down okay. the line somewhere. Um, nobody else needs it right now. I don't think right now, Akantha, well, definitely I think just not Akantha. Akantha anymore. Well, well, she's full, full hit points as the snake, so. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so no then... one that you're aware of. Yes, yeah, so I shall I shall have Commander Peepers come back to me. I am going to so this this evil harlot's still in front of me, correct? Aren't you wrapped around her? No. She's... No, it didn't last time. Oh. Um. Alright. But it's gonna this time. Yeah. I'm because you all get advantage when she's grappled, so I'm going to lunge forward. Chelsea, we're getting a lot of feedback from your mic, I think, right now. Yeah, we're getting a little cracklies. Okay. It's not a whole lot I can do yet. No, I don't know why it's doing that all of a sudden. That's all the scale hates me. sliding across the floor. <sighs> okay, 21 to hit. That hits? Yes. So you constrict her, is that correct? She is now yes, restrained just... by you? And it's 10 bludgeoning damage. She has to make a DC saving throw of 16 to escape. Gotcha. You um, wrap her up in your giant constrictor tail and just, she cries out against as you feel joints start to pop and crack, oh. but in an unsatisfying sort of way. Oof. And that's 10 bludgeoning damage. She is looking quite hurt. It's all. Um, and she will simply hmm, doesn't like this. She will uh, <laughs> wheel around and um, one attack at you at the Constrictor and one at Athelflaed, who are both disadvantage. Indeed. I am. Um, I have an 11 and a 9. And does 11 hit the giant Constrictor? I believe that it looks like the AC is 12 for a giant constrictor snake. So, it is. she is constricted, she is restrained, she is not able to escape or, or to uh, hit any of you. And a look of a realization of doom begins to wash over her face. Suck it! <laughs> be, 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 be. <laughs> Eat her. Oh. And the others will move forward here. Duke. And, now and then you will hear Aragal say, All right, friends. Come on. I'm going to stick this one. And they stop. Don't you want the pleasure there. yourself? And he goes, he looks... And if you look over his shoulder, you see that they have stopped. Deal's uh -oh. a deal. And Aragal's eyes widen. What are mm. you doing? Come on. Close ranks! Ah! And will lunge forward and strike twice with his short sword. I have a 14... No. And a natural 20. Well, does a natural 20 always hit? It does. All right, then there's nothing I can do. It would be a 26, so, um, on the end. So, but, uh, all right, so we've got... This is going to hurt me quite a bit. It might Enter hurt. Peepers. Ten points of piercing. I need you a con save. All right, I cannot uncanny dodge the poison damage, correct? Um, nope, this is all uncanny dodgeable. 
I will say, because it's all, all uncanny dodgeable. All right, so Constitution saving throw. Come on, Luckblade. That is a 15. I'm going to use... Come on. What? Sorry. I'm Sorry. Going, to, uh, going to use my D6 inspiration. Okay. For a 16. Well, Luckblade did it. Yes. You at 15 was it. Um, okay. But uh, so we'll roll another 7d6 for the poison. And I will uncanny dodge whatever this is. Yeah. So we'll total it up. So 26 plus 23. So you're looking at a 49 points of poison damage. All right. That would have taken me out. But I will have that with uncanny dodge. Does he still All right. get a sneak attack against you then? He's he not, does. He, he does not. Crit isn't a proc for a sneak attack, correct? It's not. No. No. It yeah. Only advantages. Um. So right. what was the? I'm sorry. What was the half again? Twenty. So forty nine. So forty eight. So twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. Oof. All right. And then Five. ten points of regular piercing damage. Uh. Okay. Is that haveable as well? These two yes. separate attacks? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's it's. This is the attack. It is, this is all so plus. It was it was total. So the total damage. What was the ten total damage? plus? So, uh, fifty fifty nine. Is that what we're looking 59, at? Fifty nine. So half of fifty nine. So I'm at. Got it. I'm at. Rah, fifty nine. So fifty eight minus two twenty four. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. Never One have, moment, please. Never have I been so invested in math. Right? <laughs> yeah. Me neither. So, yeah, this... Uh, it would have been bad if he, uh, if the others had closed ranks. Yes, it would have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I believe I am good to go now. All right. All right. And that will bring us to... Cyvor's turn, who is now awake. The he is conscious. Gods. All right. So Yay! I'm going to move the two of you here just to make it and a little easier for them to understand. So like, you see, yeah. We have to stop him. And then he spits a little bit of blood, hopefully from his mouth, maybe from his throat. Uh, and <laughs> he moves across, boom, comes to the opposite side. And. Nope, 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 nope. Is going to make an attack against all over the place with this Darobe. Uh, let's, let's do the whip. Whip is right. an appropriate choice. Uh, fifteen to hit. Fifteen will just do it. Hot dog! All right. There we go. Nine magical slashing damage, and then with Good. that whip, he's gonna. He's so he does the attack, hits, and then if I can use my superiority. DM? You may. Fantastic. He's gonna be like, just Waldo, kill this bastard. And so he is, Cyborg's gonna go ahead and using his attack, his second attack and a bonus action, he is going to roll a d6. Is okay. this Commander Strike? This is Commander Strike, yes. So cool. You, uh, he's he, uh, Cyborg gives you an attack on him with it. All right. Strike. Do I need to have a reaction in order to use it? Ah, uh, no. Because I, let's a, check that. And that's it, a good we question. might want to retcon this back because you would probably. Oh yeah, realize yeah. That. If you, if you, I use my reaction to do uncanny dodge. Uh huh. Uh, would have been really cool though. Would have been pretty cool. It must use no, its reaction. Use its reaction. Okay. Yeah. No, you're right. Okay. You Shay. Right. Retcon. Uh, so then Cyber's gonna go, oh, well, I guess I'll just keep beating him up then. Uh, oh, you go, hi. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much. All right, cool. So then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my second attack. Uh, 10 will not do it. 10 will not. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bonus action to use my fighter feet to uh, gain one d10 plus one health. And okay. I'm Second going wind. 
Yeah, second, a uh, second wind. And a 10. Lovely. Okay, cool. So uh, I get 11 health back and I'm gonna go ahead and burn a key point to uh, cause a stunning strike with the one that I hit with. So I need from... Constitution saving throw, yeah. Constitution saving throw, DC 15. We got an eight as a result. Fantastic. So you are done. He seems to have knocked the wind out of him. He's just <laughs> trying to draw breath, but cannot. Good. He deserves it. Awesome. All right. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, n- no. Elimus. I've done enough. Okay. Elimus will walk around, helps you hear in the conversation going on, see the situation, and we'll look and say, Oh, isn't this quaint? You thought us the honorable type. And I will tap my staff upon the floor and speak the words. Hasinium saltum murum. And all three of them will be engulfed by a wall of force. Oh, so you're just blocking them in. As in Jeswaldo, Saivor, and our friend all now within a wall of force. Gotcha. Bu- bubble. Anything no, else for you? No escape for you. And that's it. Just Waldo. You're now encased by this wall of force. I'm going to look for the symbol of Ravenkind. He is... Alright. Um, interesting. So, sleight of hand check. Kill him. Um, is this an action? It will be yes. It would be. Loot it off his body. I have rolled a natural one. That is a ten. Ten. But do I have advantage because he is stunned? Um, he is stunned, not paralyzed. He is a target who is aware of your um, movements, and while he can't necessarily completely resist you, um, I'm going to say. No, because searching through his pack while he's still conscious, even though stunned, is a difficult action. May I use a bonus action to draw a dagger and stab him? You could do that if you attacked with your weapon. That's a, Got it. Yes, yeah. you're right. Absolutely right. All right, that is my turn. Finished. Move okay. To take his, his weapon off him, though. Oh, that's true. No, if, no. He, if I couldn't, if I didn't get advantage on the search, then I don't think I could just take his weapon. Wait, so no. a stun creature is incapacitated can't move and can't speak incapacitated doesn't mean unconscious he just can't do anything he's just oh okay <laughs> he's okay. just <laughs> he can't talk he's just like <laughs> like very much dazed it's like super dazed basically so um super dazed does not mean paralyzed does not mean unconscious so okay anyway. okay fair enough uh that brings us to athelflaed I'm going to drop my healing spirit. Okay. And then I'm just going to stab this lady two more times. Never. <laughs> because because she's right there, and I like with this advantage. Spirit. With advantage. Let's see if it actually. With advantage two times. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, not as much as others, but... All right. Athelflaed, she is helpless in the grasp of Akantha. How do you dispatch her? How much of her can I see? She is unmoving. They're wrapped around her torso. You can see bits of her torso through the muscular, snake-like tail of Akantha, her face, her throat, but also some of her, um, her her chest, her feet, that kind of thing. So she's pretty much helpless before you. <laughs> I would like to. It's a good to laugh. Jesus. Thank God. you. <laughs> We're still the good guys, right? <laughs> Chaotic good. Think. Chaotic good. Think. And I never get to do this. I would like to take my wonderful magical short sword and shove it into as close to her stomach as I can get with the gaps. Yeah. And yeah, then that's I, there. That's, then I would like to rip that out sideways. Okay. Dragging across. 
And then, just because I'm extremely pissed and I got a really nice roll, I would like to shove it into her neck. Okay. Hell yeah. That is grody and wonderful. There is this moment where you stab it in and where her muscles limpen, or go limp. And the snake tail, as Akanta is squeezing as a constrictor, you see a bit of the viscera come out, and then the snake tail closes around that. Yeah. And you see her almost pressurized, and as you draw the blade across her throat, a small eruption comes as her inside pop out from over her neck, cascading across the ceiling, the ground, and you. The pelt of sand is right. now covered oh. in the blood and gore of oh. Alenka. Yeah. I mean, balloon. what Bloody was it? Bloody goat. Akantha said we were going to pop her like a grape. So You really did. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Mm, yum. Yeah. Akantha, you have a dead, um, popped <laughs> creature. Do, does Druid Akantha get health points if I eat her? Ooh. Is that, where would the, is there a part of your stat block that would suggest that? Just no, the cool part. Are you having mid-combat no, like wondering out of the kindness of the DM's heart. I mean, would that count? <laughs> oh, that never works. You would feel <laughs> very, you would feel potentially well-fed, but. <laughs> okay, I'm not hungry. I will just drop the body and go to where the next enemies are. Okay. Much, what is my... Movement. The guys who didn't attack. <laughs> All of a sudden, the guys you outside that. see this. Huge Just so you know, <laughs> the ones outside out have not attacked. The giant constrictor snake bursts into the room. The other yeah, four guys go. I, 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 uh, constrictor Check, Akantha, I don't know. So I just slide in there and I'll just <laughs> hiss at them. Okay, they, oh shit! Just kind of <laughs> go back. Um, uh, I think it's a little weird that it's a huge creature moving through there, but that's fine. We'll say, because it's a snake that it works. Here. I'm a trim snake. <clears throat> and they look back as your giant like, head moves in. You're a trim Our snake. Our is, uh, unless there's anything else from Akantha. I believe. Nope, I'll just wait for Aethelflaed to Oracle come in there with me. Spence is turn being stunned and looks with hate um, in Jeswaldo and Cyborg's direction, and then it is Cyborg's turn. Do that again. Or takes a second, kind of flexes his arms a little bit. It's like, <clears throat> what was it you said? I, that's right. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, and then I'm just gonna start beating on this guy. Cyber's mad. Bippity bippity <laughs> bap. Right. So first attack is a 19 to hit. Hits. All right. Oh, I'll be five of the whip slashy damage. Hey. <clears throat> uh, second attack is oh well. No, no. Second attack. Uh, second attack is going to be a hits 25. 25, yeah. It'll be another five damage. Come on now. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and burn a key point and do a flurry of blows. Okay. Let's do some arm strikes, shall we? Let's see. Here. That one is going to be a 27 with 10. And then, uh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh yay! Okay. Yes. Very nicely done. All right, cool. So that is, uh, what is my arm strike? Really sad that Claire's not here to see, oh, yeah. like, 13. just beat the living Plus daylights 13. out of Yeah, this. so that's, so that's <laughs> 10, 13, 23, 43 damage. Uh, and I'm gonna burn another key point and do a stunning strike. So, roll me a con save. Okay. If you oh, monks, man. Oh, that got a nine. Con. He is got still stunned. And he's still stunned. 
So yeah, Cyborg literally like takes him and like slams him against the force wall, slams him against the force wall, takes his whip, yeah. trips him, pulls him up. So he then slams his head back into the floor and then leaps up into the air and brings his fist down on top of his head. It's, yes. Oh, that is hot shit. Nice. Right? Good job. <laughs> Oh man. And he bears the brunt of it and he stands barely to his feet. Is, uh, 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 he is, again, stunned. <laughs> Elimus, your force wall is up. What do you do? Elimus looks at him and soothingly speaks to him and says, We should have really killed you on day one. But this is quite enjoyable as I sit here and watch your life ebb away. And I'm just going to sit there and lean against the wall and whistle a sarcastic mm. tune while they pummel away at them. Are you going to demonstrate that sarcastic tune? Do it. No. because I Do can't. it now. The only whistle I can do is a wolf whistle and my kids are in bed. <laughs> um, I can't I see... Happy <laughs> I can't see through the door and obviously the dome is a, wall of, uh, a dome of force so there's no way I can cast a spell through it. Nope. Or anything like that. So nope. my, the only spell I could cast, I suppose, I can... S- see where it is and if it originates there i suppose <clears throat> maybe i don't think wall of force you can do that no uh, I use it, this poor guy my, 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 mine was good i'm just he's just sitting there okay this poor guy <laughs> whistling and right. price of being a dick like just yeah. Waldo. it looks to like wow to you. and you hear the words of strahd but actually your words echoing in your head I want his head. Yes, I. Uh, I mean, I was just going to stab him, but uh, you know, with the all that fancy stuff you did. I mean, I mean, all, all I can really do is this. <laughs> I just. Uh, <laughs> I saw this is it with advantage, right? Oh yeah. He's not even trying. He just like points, just reaches just like, his arm you know, out. <laughs> Uh, with advantage, and here it comes. Dice Barf. Okay, 29. Yeah. I just did 27 points of piercing damage. And with that, how do you slay Aragal? Just shh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I I mean, I'm not really sorry. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Mm. And he looks up and says, what a disappointment. Not quite as satisfying as I was hoping it to be. As he stands there, he lays there limp on your blade. Uh, And I look for the uh, symbol of Ravenkind. As you're as you're still stabbed, like still holding the... Yeah, it's like... like, It's it's within arm's reach, it's fine. Does he have it? He does. Ah. And as that happens, as things are quiet for a moment, you hear, Good boy, brother. And the Vistani inside turn around and begin to leave. The deal has been completed, so it seems. Saivar, are you all right? I dropped the wall of force. I'm, I'm fine. Well, here, have, back down. I have two of these. I've got, I've got, got so from, many. <laughs> and I hand him, my, hand him two healing potions. Meanwhile, anything happening back at the dark el- or the dusk elf camp? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, no, it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> Um, well, um, after they've gone, um, I kind of look down around myself. Well, I guess I need to start practicing again, and I unsheath the massive greatsword <laughs> from, um, <laughs> Arjun Bostolt. <laughs> uh... This is not very comfortable. Mm. You can use your knees. Yeah. I've been taught, but like, that was years ago. Oof. Hey, Maris. 
You're gonna heal me if I cut myself, right? You spend a lot of time in that You're, You're muted. muted. I got you! I got you! <laughs> All I said was, oh yeah, I got you, I got you, I got yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> you Oof. I, I start kind of doing some, like, like, practice moves, like, you know, like, sword forms, um, which are very rusty, because the last time I wielded a weapon that was of this nature was probably, like, ten years ago. Those of you in... Gotcha. So practicing the, the sword play, those of you yeah. still um, in uh, Valaki. Sorry, I just had to check in for a moment um, <laughs> see what was going on. Are you intending to stay or what is happening there as well? Uh, um, Not meaning to gra glaze over the um, role play about what had just happened. So you can right. continue that, but I just say. wanted to acknowledge our other players who I feel bad, but uh, splitting the party sometimes. <laughs> I say we I'm good. put them in a coffin and head on out. Uh, about taking a head I'm, first. I'm down with the wonderful, amazing snake, so I'm not up with you guys, and I'm just gonna pat her. Pat the giant snake. Good job. Tybor? Just rolled off. I'm sorry. But what? Sorry that I hit you, and I'm sorry... Oh, come on. That... There's going to be a lot to unpack from this. I... I was, was it, really... was, it was some sort of... I could sort of look over at Alimus. Arcane, is that the word? It was a curse of some sort, yes. Yeah, but... Dark gift. I mean, to be honest, all it really did was bring out what was already in there. Which is scary. Everyone yeah. has that within them. Just water. Even the purest. Of course. But, well, mine got a healthy chance to walk around in my shoes. And it did. I think that anything I have coming to me by way of retribution is deserved. So. I was just, I'm still really angry at what you did. And I was beating this dick. I, you, were, you were what? I was just taking that anger out <laughs> on. <laughs> The, the dick that's in the house. I told you. Crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just, oh, and I'm a, shut up. A, shut up. <laughs> no, that, please, that's please what continue. I said. You beating the dick. I heard you. Yeah. No, this <laughs> dick right here. This guy. No, I, no, I know. I see it. Crazy. It's what I said. Cover the children's faces. It's a very big dick. I, you beat it incredibly well. <laughs> yeah, no. And you put a hole in him. So He's an expert. <laughs> He's a lot of experience. Would, would you, were you thinking of me when you beat it? Maybe. Maybe. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Hey, excuse me? You hear on the wind. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. Well, not not a giant what? wink. Wink. If, but also if, wink. If that is what it takes for you to throw down like that, then by all means, think of me every time you beat it. No, I just... Think of me. <laughs> think of <laughs> me. Well, you can be Oh, come on. Come on. Very, very, very suddenly we are back in missed opportunities. Use the whole episode! <laughs> Just when you thought the RP was going to go somewhere. Oh, no. So, <laughs> I'm so glad I cut back to the Lockie. Should, uh, Put it in a box and yeah. get yeah. the hell out of here. Right? Put that dick in the box? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you hear something, Cyborg? <laughs> so you guys are able to pack up. I thought I heard bodies. something being incredibly inappropriate. Did you, did you hear that? It's a dick in a box. Are you taking head or? That's in the you box. guys pack up the bodies into the coffins, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you do have the ability to get out under your deal. Um, you will see, as the group is dispersing, that it kind of came to confront you before. The sort of drunken-looking form of Arigal or of um, Luvash taking us another um, swig from a bottle. Get, get the fuck out of here. We will do that. 
There seems to be a tear running down his cheek. I just smirk. It will take a little bit of. <laughs> it'll take a little bit of time for you guys to to get back there. Um, Maris and Claire, I think there was you guys were um, yeah. carrying on a bit of a conversation. Um, so as I'm, you know, moving through my various sword forms. Um, Please make it barely kind of... sexual innuendo so that we could completely ruin this for you. <laughs> yes. Um How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Oh, I am a ball of anxiety right now. Um, I, and I, I, it's not helpful right now. So I'm just trying to batten that shit down, you know? Sure. Yeah. No, I, I think, I think it's going to be okay. They're going to be fine. I, yeah. Um. So just Waldo, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had, I don't know. I had tried to talk to you about it before, but you were so against it, and I, I just, I didn't want to let you down. When you talk to me about it. Uh. Huh. My impression of him was that he was a conniving, womanizing bastard. Yeah. yeah. You understand I... why I would be concerned given the way he behaved for the first few days we were here. I do, but I, 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 saw, I saw a different side of him, you know? Which I grant you was very, very real. I think that underneath a lot of what he puts out on the surface that um he's a good man he is yeah i wouldn't have fallen for him if he weren't yeah just but i appreciate that you are worried and we're worried and you're still my best friend like my best best friend like my best 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 friend you know what i mean you know what i mean i know Okay, um, I will tell him, just so you know, uh -huh. um, that if he does anything to hurt you, I will slit his throat. I think that's totally fair. Maris takes a sip out of the ewer. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm -hmm. I mean, slitting his throat might be a little bit too refined for me. I mean, depending on what he does, like, we would probably have a discussion and then we'd both figure we out just okay. yeah yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but let's just hope he doesn't do anything no i of course <laughs> of course of course um uh, never mind so what about you uh, victor Maris? oh <laughs> my <Claire>. god <laughs> Oh, Victor's back at the castle. Yeah, he's back at the castle. Are we gonna, do we feel like, okay, look, I know that you don't like, like, Victor, but, like, we do have a relationship with him at this point. Do you think he's okay? No, I'm kind uh, of terrified for him. So we have I, to go back for them at some point, right? Yes, I, okay. I, frankly, I kind of feel like I pulled him out of the frying pan and then just tossed him straight into the fire. Um, um, and Esmeralda too, um, do you, any of the time that you've been choking about Victor, mm -hmm. was any of that serious? Um, not for you as much as it was for him. Well, I know that. But I'm I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, I don't think that you're actually like into him. Because that's a bit far away from what I find interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I totally, I know. It was just really to just like. 
to give you a hard time. You know, I like I don't I don't really remember my family, as you know, and you're the closest thing I have to a sister. So that's it's just kind of like sisterly, siblingy fun, as I understood it from books I've read. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was all that it was. I'm, but I'm, I'm sorry if it ever made you actually feel weird. Um. Uh, Maris starts to offer the ewer to Claire. I take it. <laughs> I put the great sword in the ground. Okay. Take a really, okay. really long swing. Mm -hmm. Maris buckles up. She's ready for whatever is next. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're insightful, right? You can get a good read on people, right? I, yeah, 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 yeah. I would say that's something Generally. I'm relatively adept at, sure. Uh... Uh, you know I don't like men, right? Oh yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess I wasn't all? like I like I like wasn't sure. I wasn't, but like I didn't want to assume. But like I okay, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I I had a feeling, but I wasn't gonna make any assumption about that until you came and told me. But you know, it doesn't change anything between us, right? Or. No one in the party, or and I love you no matter what. I know. Um, you're... And thank you for telling me. Yeah. It. I would have told you, except I. This is not the case anymore. But I okay. did for a while. Kind of find you interesting um oh. but um that was a while ago that was a really really long time ago like yeah. when we yeah, were yeah, still yeah. at the monastery and i shit was rough <laughs> listen <laughs> it's like you don't have to explain it I to know. me and just know that i love you and like that doesn't make me feel weird or upset and I just want you to be happy. And I wish I could have been that for you, but I love you, you know, so much. I think that, and I think this is part of the reason that I didn't want to bring it up is that I, I think that some of it was a desperation kind of Fair thing. enough. You know, like- And I don't take that personally at all. No, but it, more of like, you were the first person that made me feel like it was worth living. Oh! That after everything that happened, you were the one who was like, no, there's like, there's shit out there. Yeah, there's always light. For you to do, and you know, it's, Whoa. and when you feel that horrible about everything, you know, that kind of light is, really, really wonderful. And you know what? I really don't blame Jess Waldo if he sees how beautiful that is, too. Thank you, Claire. So Well, you know, there's a lot, there are a lot of light bringers in the world. And we'll find you a light bringer. And you're a light bringer. I hope you know that know. you bring light to me and to everyone in the party. And we love you. And thank you again for telling me. I know that's really terrifying and huge. Mm -hmm. So I love you. And Maris extends her arms for a hug. Hugs. <laughs> Yay. Hugs. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. <clears throat> the evening is quiet, as you can hear crickets singing in the forests which give a sense that there is something indeed 
more out there. When so often it felt like darkness, nothing beyond the mists. There's just a sense that there is more to this land than your immediate senses reveal as the rest of your party returns. Hey, Akanta. Akanta snake. You're so large, I bet you could wear the dragon head. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Uh, so if it's anywhere near me, I will, if we've gone back to retrieve it, I will, she'll put it on. It would probably fit about right. Who needs an ancient silver dragon? Look at this. That's amazing. Cyborg, you have to draw this. The um, <laughs> the remaining dusk elves in this village bar their doors and hide inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it is an impressive sight. You bone crossed with Ekans for the Pokemon fans. <laughs> um, <but> Jake, <laughs> you guys were gone Ekans. for a while. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay? Everything's fine. Do you like how my cloak looks now? You it's are even I redder it. than usual. <laughs> Ron sent an old friend, oh, a couple oh. old friends, to uh, recover this. It's fine. Maris. It's, does anyone still look hurt? Everyone? <laughs> okay. looks Mary's really bad. Runs over to Jezwaldo. I'm going to go to Cyborg. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, she just goes to Jezwaldo. I'll, I'll let you handle Jezwaldo. I think a cat was one enough. hit point, didn't she? Here, um, Cyborg have 25 hit points. I almost died. He almost died. Boy, have I heard that before. <laughs> Sorry, where? Where have you heard that? three hit points. <laughs> Well, currently she's got a lot more than that, but yeah, it's... No. Yeah, when she switches oh, yeah, yeah. back. Yeah, no. I, I, oh, is she still snake Tampa's or... doing no. just fine. She is a giant snake. Okay, <laughs> I, I give huge snack, snake. like a little, like, scritch. I will, I will say, jar. though, it would have Skull been very snake. difficult to get out of the city as a giant constrictor snake. She, oh. she Not could have changed back. Deal? Or, or let it happen. No, it wouldn't. It's very I want to be running for a mile. Because no, you're no probably right. Because you're a giant constrictor snake. <laughs> Between her and then me covered in blood and guts, we're fine. No one's going to bother us. <laughs> all right, all right. Just another you, night you in the Am I right? <laughs> there it is. Amazing. For the wacky balaki. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I think I'll be saying that for a long time. Well... If you feel like you need to say it to reconcile it to yourself, I understand. But just know that I've already forgiven you. And she gives him a kiss again on the cheek and heals him. Yay! <laughs> 80 Aww. points of healing. Power of love. 18, you say? Yeah, 18. Sorry. Thank you. I didn't roll very high. <laughs> that's, that's so much better. But she tried. Well. We ran into some Valaki. What are they called? Vistani? Vistani. <laughs> I mean, we did. We did run into Valaki. Valaki. Vistani. They were Valaki Vistani. We found our favorite friend. The double V. Oh, uh, did you... Did you find Aragor? We did. Please tell me he's dead. He's in a box somewhere, yes. Ah, uh, yes. It's very it's sad. I think he had an arrangement with his brother, but... Betrayed him. Yeah, his was... brother betrayed him. Yeah, his brother told me to go inside. I didn't tell you guys that. That was weird. We saved his daughter. His only daughter. Um uh, Well, they're also in league with Strahd, so you know, there's probably a lot going on there. Can't believe Aragal didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> that well, makes you feel good, doesn't it? Oh and just Waldo's friend as well, we killed. Oh, yes. She died, huh? Oh, yes. don't you like her? Uh, like posing with my cloak. Don't you like what she added to my outfit? Oh, that's oh, is that really her all dark. over you? Is, uh, how dare you? Sorry. <laughs> Jezwaldo, what do you, you don't do? You, do you not like my cloak? To be fair, mm -hmm. there are parts of her probably still on Akanta as well, on the giant constrictor. <laughs> yeah, side. we haven't washed that Please, up either. Let me Maris help feels deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you, and I will speak the words. Maleficis artibus. And your cloak will start cleaning itself. 
I have ah, to say that, given my recent experiences, I have to wonder just how in control all these people are of their tabs. Oh. Yeah. But well. uh, there's no way to know. And mm. they had definitely crossed the line. Yes. But I nearly did also. I'm not saying we need to go easy on these people, but mm -hmm. perhaps keeping in the mind certain circumstances might not be a bad idea. Only if you apologize for what you said about my cloak. Oh, absolutely. It's there. an amazing cloak. He it means is. it. One of a kind is the least that I could say about it. The it's kind. also intimidating. Intimidating. Soft. Ah. I would have to imagine that it is also warm. Oh, okay. warm. Okay. Very and warm. confirm it is very. I warm. think you're making her uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, too much um, socialization. <laughs> oh well, uh, just a this little is more. This man. If, if you don't mind, I um. But I pull out the luck blade. There is something about this blade uh, that. Well. You said there was something about your sword that called to it or had a connection with it. And then I'll pull out mine and hold it out in front. My shining sword. Yes, I don't know why, but as Ethel you were... Fled, yeah. you feel relief. Immense relief and a sort of warm comfort coming from that sword, and also a boldness. That is what it is transmitting to you at the moment. Do you think they belong together? I really don't know how to answer that. I haven't, I haven't come across a lot of magical weapons, so it's not... I really have no idea. Maybe identifying the rapier would help. We found out that yours was sentient. There... Okay, yeah. Well, I'm saying, Arthurflight, if you want this this blade it is yours. Maybe it belongs with this short sword. Maybe there is a connection there that should be explored. Are you sure? What? I mean... If you hadn't convinced everybody to come after me, then I would have attuned to the sword and had all that power and who knows what I would have done. I mean, you're clearly skilled with the bow and if you prefer that to double wielding blades, then I understand. But... Hmm. I'll take it for now, but I may give it back. Fair enough. Cool. We will talk about that a little bit over our break and potentially in the next session. As the relationship between these blades may take some time to reconnect. There is very little, um, as Jeswaldo knows, there is slightest hint of something that is more than just a magic weapon to this luck blade but it is quite faded that's so, so. cool yeah so. thank you you're welcome so i'm dragon delivery it was like awkward athelflaed shoulder pat thank you <laughs> are you guys spending the night here or Yeah. going on. Oh, what time of day is it? 
It is night. It is oh, the yeah. middle of the night. Really. Be sure you attune to that, Teresa. That's a really awesome weapon. It will boost your... Um, attune to it and equip it. It will boost your uh, saving throws. And armor class. And armor class. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I suppose if it's, if it's that late, then we should rest and then head early in the morning to Arden Vestalt. I will okay. summon the hut. Summon the hut in the hut? Mm-hmm. Super hut. <laughs> the hut. Hey, huts uh, on huts on huts. huts, huts. L- layers are important, you know. Actually, like onions. Know. Yeah. Like huts. Yeah. Well. More of a yurt. In that case, More you guys will be able to pass a quiet evening. It is relaxing for the first part. You feel in tune with each other to a point that something that you haven't felt for quite some time. It is comforting. At least for a while. By morning, the life outside seems to have died down a bit. You hear no sound coming from the village as the sun begins to light sort of the grayish landscape. And once again, the feeling resumes that you are not here watching out into Barovia necessarily. You are here, but the many terrors in this place have not abated just because you have spent a comfortable night. The rest of Barovia watches inward to you to see what will happen next. And we will pick up at our next adventure.